Yeah, this, that, I never heard how rapey this hook sounds. <laughs> In my now. bed, don't be shy. Yeah. Don't be scared. <laughs> no. Take that chance. <laughs> we ain't got to rush. We got all night. That's yeah. a rush. Yeah. Rock <laughs> We rock, we it. rock it. Yeah. <laughs> That's like a, a motivational speaker rapist. <laughs> no way. We rock it's it. like Van Jones raping. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Van Jones, hey, hold, don't try to fix it by being with Van Jones, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> don't try to fix it. <laughs> uh, all right, let me get these drops out the way, goddammit. No. <laughs> no, Joe Biden. I see what's going on. Today. I see where no. this pod is going. No, Wally, I'm not. I may not like it, but it'll make for great content. Hey yo, uh, <laughs> hey, yo, black people get two vans to align ourselves with Van Jones and Van Lathan, and that's it. That's it. Yeah. Those are the only two van- black vans we get to drive the point home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love when these niggas don't laugh. And I know, I, and you might not, you might not want to sit with Van Lathan. You might fuck around and end up back at the podium, fucking with that nigga. <laughs> yeah, Van be at too many day parties. <laughs> he one day party away. One day we have to have a conversation about Van Lathan nah, at, no, at the don't. parties. No, we don't. Yeah, come on. No. I'll call him. That's why, nigga. Let no, me call him. He knows. I know. He knows. I know. He knows. No, he's well aware. Yeah. Uh, but, my... but not for public consumption. Oh, yeah, <laughs> got it. Microphone check one two. What is this? Welcome to episode two seventy seven. Yep. of the Joe Button podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here, fresh fresh down. <laughs> well, we have a what button that? for that. What was oh, that? I don't know. It was a pause. <laughs> yeah. Every time this nigga leave the LA, come back trying to implement things. What <laughs> you mean? He was, he was brainstorming on the flight. Yeah. Like, well, how about this one? I can't, how, clap, I can't how, clap for myself. How, how can I freak the intro? I can't clap. All right, no. All right go ahead. Rashid Sunflower's here. Uh, Parks is here. Rory Io from EO. Yeah, he's still here. From EO. Erickson is here. And Savon is here. Gentlemen, how is everyone feeling? Huh? 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 Fresh off of Labor Day weekend. No you labor. Know, you no forgot labor. we have Savon's Mall here too. You forgot one person in the kitchen. Yeah, Savon's Mall. Oh yeah, Screen Man is here. That's Savon's Mall. Savon's Mall. Where the fuck was he at last week? I don't really, I don't really respect that. <laughs> I, I don't respect I, I, the nigga working. Honestly, if you want me to tell you about me, I don't respect niggas that work. <laughs> Joe. I don't hold no so weight. Not, I don't. We're not shouting them out today, the workers? <laughs> no, not today. Okay. It's Labor Day. This is a consistent vehicle here. How can we stay consistent if Screen Man works every now and then? <laughs> Come on, Screen Man. I hate niggas that have to work every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all the podcasters that quit their job. All right. Let's let's start there. I don't believe that any of you are serious until that occurs. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Sorry. Got to take that jump. Got to take a jump. Yeah, don't 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 okay, don't try so to when, steal second base and keep your foot on first. Look at you, Cody. Go to your job. Mm. Tell them niggas, yo, got mm. something on the side that I have some faith in, mm-hmm. and walk away. Yeah. And then weather the storm. Yeah. That's the important part. Hey, creatives, it ain't about how much money you make, mm-hmm. how much debt you're in. Mm-hmm. It's really all about can you weather this. Storm. That whole corny saying, the light at the end of the tunnel, let's not make that applicable here, but it is. If you can get through being broke for the next nine months, the lick is coming. Well, sometimes that light at the end of the tunnel is just a train. (laughs) That's a good point. Oh, sometimes that light at the end of the tunnel is the police putting it in your face when you got to sleep in a park overnight. (laughs) I was trying to offer hope. (laughs) Hope is what I was... Well, we were just trying to balance it out. I was just trying to give them some hope. Yo, it might not work. So shout out to... uh, And that's why these niggas don't quit their job. (laughs) That is exactly why it might not work. It probably won't. And that's why I don't respect... No, I agree with you. I would like to hear from some of them niggas. Like the niggas that like went for it and failed. I respect them more than the people that are successful and didn't. Me too. True. But we don't me too. But we don't get to hear from them because mm-hmm. they tuck the failure because they're ashamed of it. I would like to hear from it. It builds character. Yeah. Well, we're living in a highlight reel, so 
Now they really, really try to hide it. Hey, when yeah. you will fucking come back with fucking quotes and one liners. <laughs> no, that was a nice little one liner. No, that was he bodied that, but yeah. where did he get you it? Just, who, you who just you just tried to pull off your a... second base, my foot's on home plate shit. <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of here. That's, that's two thousand seven mouse. Mm. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> fucking Rory yeah, talking about that's, that's old, old mouse. Take that. That's old school mouse. Okay, uh, so so what happens when Savon quits the Joe Button Network for his podcast? Oh, well, I already uh uh put that plan in preparation for he was trying to quit last last mm. month. And run over there <laughs> Talk to loud, loud speaker network, bitch ass nigga. Take call Chris Chris Morrow and say, "Yo, I'm dead in that deal." Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I didn't do that. I just closed the window of opportunity at the Joe Budden Network for Zayvon. <laughs> ah, <okay>. gotcha. <laughs> yeah, so got, called Ian. Yo, yeah, I'm dead in yeah, this deal. Yeah, no, man. Once you try to ride with them niggas, sorry, you gotta <laughs> ride with them. <laughs> Too late now. Yeah, I don't make the rules. Uh, I want to shout out to our Spotify listenership. I want to shout out to our YouTube viewership. I want to shout out all the creatives that are have the balls enough to quit their fucking job. Who else do we want to yeah, shout out here? Take a risk for once. Who else do we want to shout out? Uh, so shout out the teachers back to school. Maul, you do that every other podcast. We got that's important, man. Maul, Maul gotta show love to the nice teachers. Little teacher base somewhere. Nah, yeah, he's <laughs> I can see. Yeah, clearly, he three, brings, brings them up way too much. No, they, listen, teachers she are, definitely she definitely teaches history at a teachers charter school. Teachers are underpaid and, and underappreciated, man. That's true, Maul. They are. They are. They are. They're underpaid and underappreciated. That applies. Maybe to they almost, should quit their job and start a podcast. That applies to almost everybody except the, the Rothschilds or the Rothsteins, whatever their name is. No, but teachers are like a vital part of the community. Correct. And all the support staff at schools. Yeah. And these little niggas is bad now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm... I'm you ever I, go on World Star? See how they just be knocking teachers I have out? not gone on World Star since 2008. Oh, okay. I frequent it every now and then just to see the... Really? Yeah, you got some... I didn't think you would still live like that. You gotta get your ignorant were, shit every now and again. You gotta get your ignorant shit in. I only go on... What, what, what he could have been doing? Why, why are you still doing now, I, that, Honestly, more? I really go and only just see if they got the fight <laughs> compilations up. The fight compilations is the shit. You see niggas getting knocked out all over the country. Why do we enjoy that? This is fun. I it's follow part Prime, of life. Prime Faces is my favorite like Instagram page. I'm no, like, that why? nigga's funny. <laughs> no, he's, Yo, no, his, his commentary what? is hilarious. Yo, dude, you got to come up off that wall. <laughs> 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 nah, the fight in, the, I think it was in Coney yeah. Island or some shit. That was the funniest joint. The restaurant with the big yeah. dude. Oh, my God. But, why, funny. but why do we enjoy like fight videos like that? I mean, it's human nature. Yeah, it's all. I think it goes all the way down to like when you saw when you see someone trip. It's just funny to see people harm themselves or get. But not the them. not the crazy fights with like not like sucker shit. Where yeah, you, somebody yeah. knocking the nigga. He ain't see it. They kicking him while he down. He going into a season. Not that I'm talking no, about. That's if dudes are squaring up in their hood, like just like straight with the knuckles. That's fun to watch because it's like that don't happen a lot anymore. So when you see it, it's like okay, nigga still scrap. Oh, they, they still scrapping. <laughs> they 100% still scrapping. Uh, shout out to our first and last time listeners. Um, listen, man, let's get into the shits, man. I'm done shouting people out. What's going on? Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Labor Day it's weekend, good, Labor man. Day weekend. You were in Turks. You were with Hove. <laughs> I was in Turks. No, Turks. you was in no, no, Turks. I, wait, I, I'm sorry. I was in Turks. Yes. You was in LA. Yes. You was with Hove. I was You upstate. was in Buffalo. Yeah. Close you hands. was. The traveling pod. No, what yeah, the fuck man. your mom was doing. Come on. Uh, it's 12 minutes in. We have five minutes to recap the weekend. I'm tired of spending 30 minutes. I was on Turks. Weekend. How do you feel? 39 years yeah. old, man. Mm-hmm. How is it? Oh, let me. Oh, yeah. Hey. It's your birthday. Hey. How you feeling, man? Look at that unplanned alley. Yeah. <laughs> 39. I feel all right. Yeah. 39 is cool. Yeah. I feel like I have one year to make something of myself. Just one? Yeah. Okay. I, I, I was feeling down and out about 39 because I didn't like the sound of 39. Mm-hmm. I was the same way with 29. 39 it was sounds just a weird, disgusting. It's just a weird okay. birthday. The nines. I don't think I really fuck with 29 either now no, I think about it. I, I definitely don't. 28 I sounded okay to me. 30 sounds fine to me. 29? I'm so yeah, I'm down. I'm so cool with 40. Mm. 41, 42 even. 39 is like, what have you been through in life? <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 you know you know absolutely nothing. Well, what have you done? What have you done this far? Yeah. So. And, here, and here's, no, here's where the nines suck because the people in their early 20s look at me like an old fuck. And then the people in their 30s look at me like, all right, well, you really ain't. Yeah, you don't know anything. You're, you're not in your 30s. Like, you're still mm. in your 20s. Go hang out with the young kids. And the oh. young kids are like, you old as fuck. So now I'm just by myself. I, I agree with that, by the way, Rory. Secretly, when I'm home, I try to figure out how much time you have left on the hang out with young people clock. Rory doesn't really hang, hang out with young people. I'm the youngest people. person in all my groups of friends. It I think true. about that too, though. Like now, it, even it when listen, you go to certain events, it looks young. Yeah, oh yeah, now nah. going out now at thirty-five. Oh, oh, it's much different. 
Yeah. It's weird. Period, but Especially if you go like Lower East Side or something like that. It's like, these people are all I'm 17. Not, I gotta I'm get not, out of here. I'm not even allowed to go down there at 39. Yeah, like nah. at 39, it's like, what can you do? Yeah, no, nah, it's weird. And the checklist of just things that need to happen for you to be cool with going out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. But I can't think, I don't think I've done a young, young event like outside of work at all in, in the past year, maybe. I feel like Duce is still even a little mature. I don't feel like it's the youngest it of I mean, it's young a, it's, people. It's a $50 ticket at minimum. Like, right. the young people can't go. <laughs> They're broke. <laughs> yeah. Why can't young people ask their parents for $50? As a parent, know. are you giving your kid money to go yeah. drink cognac for six hours? <laughs> no, which is why my kid lies to me and tells me he needs books every week. <laughs> <laughs> every, every, every good lie. Every uh, week, no, my no, kid no, 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 needs no. books. Anyone that went to school, they they lied about the book money. Oh yeah, they got all the books in the library. Yeah, I was gonna say Once they're going to the library the book for free money, anyway. and you'd be like, oh wait, there's a copy machine there too. I can for free. Yeah, I can copy the whole book. Yeah, let's go. You yeah, know, yeah. my oldest son keeps some lies that just are not believable at all. Shout out to Trey, man. Smart, I, smart I kid. Hey, take uh, a shot. Shout wait, out to wait, Trey. Wait Brown. till Trey figures out about the refund check. Right. Swindle life. Yeah. That's where things change. Yep. My kid is in a dorm in college. Mm. When I tell y'all that at 21 signing to Def Jam, I was really trying to figure out how I would pay for my kid to be in college. Mm. For my kid to be in a dorm... <laughs> Like, that's, that's expensive. You're not even staying at home. Yeah, that's expensive. Yeah. That's, that's like wealth. That's like the black dude. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that's and black privilege. Dorm sure. cost. And the school he goes to is a nice and not cheap. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been and, and it's not I've, far from you, so he could live at home. <laughs> Word. All of that, and, and Dad ain't really proven that you're smart enough to be there. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, how the fuck did you pick this school? Nah, that's a nice <laughs> you school. You little bright ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get in here? Yeah, that that tab wasn't cheap at all. Yeah. No, that's but then that's what do school. you say? What do you say? Nothing. Got to support it. Guy, you that's have fucked to. up. You that's have the to. same man I came yeah, to. Yeah, you have yeah. to. You have y'all to. niggas that don't have kids yet better start thinking of a line to oh, not be My kids be are going supportive. to community college. <laughs> yeah, I man. did. So you are. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, much for wanting better. <laughs> yeah. Even though it's kind of a silly movie, I still remember the line in the other guys when the head cop is like, "Well, I have to get two jobs." He was the head of the police chief and worked at Bed Bath and Beyond, so he could pay for his son to explore his bisexuality and become a DJ at what NYU. What the fuck movies you be watching? Other guys with Mark, See, uh, Will Ferrell and uh, Mark Wahlberg. I'm uh, kind of with Rory on this one. Mark. I think that shit's hilarious. He's like, yeah, no, I have two jobs now just so my son can become a DJ at NYU. <laughs> <laughs> my kid is in college and raps. I want somebody to still explain it to me. I'm That's waiting hard. for him to tell me. I'm waiting for somebody to tell me what happens from here because it wasn't my... No, that's smart, though. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, we've had this, we have this debate a lot. You get a good network in college. You'll meet a lot of people that That's have similar fact. interests and will help them out. And we'll you have a little it. safety net where you can maybe get a real job if the rapping thing doesn't really work out. That's where my career went wrong. Like, how I thought about academics not going to college. Mm-hmm. Like, because Rory's probably right. Like, these niggas that go to college and rap, they're pretty multifaceted. Like, yeah. They do have something to fall back on, and even if they don't, they have an audience now. Right. How many successful From, rappers I mean, have went to college? College. A lot of the new kids. I mean, I don't know. Have you listened to a Cole album? Yeah. <laughs> He's been rapping about the student the, loans uh, for about a lot 17 of years. <laughs> no, he's worried about it. A lot of new kids went to college, and Deani. Yes. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, I forgot to talk to Deani about that this weekend. Did, did you guys know that Deani dropped out of school because of Lupe Fiasco kick push? Huh? Excuse me? <laughs> what do you mean? We got to call Deani. Was that like the, the motive? Like the, that See, was the no, song no, that did Time it? out. Right this second. This is one of those moments that Rory can pull out his phone and call someone Deanna, in his ev- phone. Everyone that knows her in this room knows Deanna does not reply to text messages or answer her phone. I can I can I'm, agree. I can attest to that. <laughs> <laughs> you, try, you, know, you try to... <laughs> it's, just, it's like seven unanswered text messages. Okay, here we go. This is a production thing. Sometimes it's fun just to, just to make the attempt. To try it? Yeah, just to listen to the phone ring is fun. I, sometimes. She's definitely not answering my call. If my name pop up, she's not answering that. <laughs> but why is that? She was just with Rory. She might answer that. Well, Rory will have to answer for all the people that he was just with shortly. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so nobody wants to try and call Deonna. All right, fine. She ain't answering. I can guarantee. <laughs> listen, that. everybody went to college, and Deonna went to college. Deonna went to college. So yeah. it's like 
college somewhere, some somewhere along the line, it changed to be like an audience builder. Well, I no, mean, college became a little bit easier and more of the norm around my era, like 06 to 08. I felt like I was like, oh, wow, people really go to college now. Mm. <laughs> That's like a really, really common thing. So I don't think for y'all era that was as common as it is now. A lot of my friends like, did not go to college, let alone finish. I still want y'all to name another rapper that went to college outside of J. Cole. A lot. Diani. <laughs> <laughs> She's not a rapper, but okay. Uh, okay. Scream Man brought it up. Chuck D went to college. Ludacris went to college. Donald Glover. Def- All of these niggas went to college. Childish Maul. Gambino was definitely an RA. I can just see it in his face. <laughs> you know Jay Alec went to college before he fucking bagged some billionaire heiress. The whole uh, little brother went to college, didn't they? Is that they where met they, met? In, they met? All in of the little brothers. <laughs> <laughs> all of them went to college. Oh, two chains, went two to chains college. did. I, I knew that. Yeah. I hate all these niggas. <laughs> you hate most deaf? That, no, I love all these niggas. Oh. But it, it's such a cheap... That's that's cheap in hip-hop. I don't respect that in hip-hop. Oh, going to college? College. <laughs> That's crazy. It makes sense though, because you can really get your I, shit off in college. I do and not you meet res- a lot of people. Yeah, like you can like, get fans pretty quick. Listen, uh, a few weeks ago, I said that uh, uh, I mentioned Meg Meg The Stallion doing her nerdy She's girl summer thing. She's in college, and and I'll be honest, these pictures that she takes in in the empty homeroom with her glasses on, reading a book, there's no homeroom. It works on me. Inside. I don't. I've never been to college. <laughs> I don't know what's in college. Yeah. It's an empty classroom yeah. with glasses <laughs> and a book. <laughs> Homeroom in college is I've never funny. walked in, I've never walked into a classroom and saw that. <laughs> a girl but this, with is, what she, but this sh- is what she's doing now and I think it's gonna work. It's smart. And nobody wants to say that Meg the Stallion has easily had the best setup to win since the last best setup to win that you've seen in the past nine months maybe. Shit more than that probably. It's been a while. Yeah. Mm. Hey, when I came on this podcast and said, hey, Kev is going on the road on promo tour with this girl. We got to watch it. That was six months later. Mm. <laughs> so she has been everywhere. And we're not starting with Meg Thee Stallion. But she's been around everybody hot, doing everything hot. Yeah. For close to a year. Yeah. She, yeah, I think she, she's probably moving. coming up there on a year. And I'm just pointing that out because when I come on here and tell you guys that this is by design, the industry, the stars, it's set up by design, nobody ever understands what I'm saying because it's smoke and mirrors and you can't really see all the industry happenings as they're happening. But I, th- I just thought Meg Thee Stallion was a perfect example of that. Uh, pardon me. Where y'all want to start? Made in America, made in America, made in America. Oh, we starting with uh, Rory not being able to make it here today. <laughs> uh, I was early. Uh yeah, but earlier I, th- I didn't know if you would be here today. And well, then, then well, you somebody, said we could talk about it. So s- somebody let's changed. Just keep it authentic. <laughs> somebody, uh, somebody changed buck. changed the time, uh, which I then replied with Joe. question mark, and then Joe replied back with, "Well, man, you can't continue to put this podcast in the back seat." <laughs> that's a good Joe voice. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good. <laughs> which I replied with, "That's hilarious." <laughs> and then what? Then y'all came in here and started talking about what? None. I think it's hilarious just the statement of me putting the podcast in the backseat. That's what Rory wanted to talk about, about me saying you put the podcast to the backseat. Oh, okay. Is that an egregious statement? Uh, Past egregious. What's the other synonym like even further than Uh, egregious? More egregious. I don't know. (laughs) Most egregious. I got egregious from Stephen A. I don't know. (laughs) 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 I have no idea. And I, I, yo, are we getting Stephen A. the fuck out of here? Because we on ESPN. Mm. That's a good yeah, point. Stephen right? A. might have to go sit down. He probably I, wants to. He's on ESPN he all day, every day. Down. He needs a break. I hit, I hit the group chat early today, right? And this is a short, long story. I hit the group chat earlier today because for about a month and a half, my fantasy football draft in my money league has been on the second. You call it the money league, okay. No, it's what it is. Sorry. It's his industry league. It's his industry league. It's yeah. the only league I pay money in. No, it's a hundred it's a hundred dollar buy in for ours. It's not really money. <laughs> Crazy. Well, wow. Mm. Wow. Oh, you still think a hundred dollars is money? Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. What do you want me? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Maul's first word anyway, of the anyway, podcast. Yeah, word. Mm, and Maul's mm. only word during every podcast. Mm. Mm. And crazy. Mm. Uh, and I hear Ryan say, hey, you guys, four o'clock today. So he, he does a nice voice when he says and it. And boy, <laughs> did Rory let his privilege out. No, your privilege of he changing replied, the time. He replied immediately. My dad will have your ass. Uh, <laughs> 4 p.m. No, what had, what no, has occurred? I added, my, I added my dad to the group chat. You heard? What was four? Why? What has occurred? What has occurred? <laughs> I don't even talk that way. What has occurred? And I say, wait a minute. Oh, Rory's tight. I say, Rory, for a month and a half, I've let you know that I have I had something to do tonight. Which was a lie. Uh... And what is it? Did you really? Or did you just say it a month and a half ago? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> at, 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 I was at, unaware. At, at <laughs> this point in the text convo, I'm feeling awkward. So I say, uh, does it fucking matter? <laughs> no, I <laughs> does it matter, nigga? I knew we well, were no, recording early, but I didn't know it was four. Well, I had it was said right before that that he was landing at four anyway. So yes, it mattered after you asked, did it matter? So then Rory said, uh, pardon me, Joe. <laughs> uh, I'm moving today mm -hmm. And I have an interview I didn't mm. say that I said I had 4 p.m. 4 p.m. sharp Yeah That sharp. Sony set up for me Yeah <laughs> Don't want to miss it it's hard to get a ticket mm. I'm like why is Rory texting this hard to get Why is he ticket? texting it's hard to get an interview So I That's when I left the group chat And called Maul and said, what the fuck is wrong with Rory? <laughs> and why is Rory telling me that he has to move on fucking Tuesday after Labor Day when everybody goes to work when I didn't see this nigga hanging out all weekend with fucking Lizzo? <laughs> Lizzo, the baby. Yeah, they were great. Chris Dow's Benner. <laughs> uh, who else was there? Hope. Diani. Beyonce announced something while you were there. Like her birthday. her birthday. So why is this nigga now? Yeah, she announced her birthday while Rory was there. So why the fuck is Rory telling me that he's moving? Yeah. I don't care. That's what I was confused. I'm all didn't know either. Well, we rarely, rarely, rarely change the Tuesday time. Rarely. Like ever. You know how many times that we've changed the time for Rory Sony meeting? Zero. No, I knew we were recording early. I didn't know it was four. I thought it was five thirty. Which would have been fine for me. It doesn't matter. We're here now, We're here. and We're I'm fine. glad that Rory's here. 27 minutes in. Where would you gentlemen like to start? Let's start with Made in America because Rory was there, so he should have some inside information to give us, and then that will segue us into Maul and Rory deflecting and defending <laughs> themselves in this whole backlash melee. Hmm. They trying to cancel Hove? Uh, for the fourth week in a row. <laughs> Good luck. There's the defense. That's your defense. I just said good luck. Oh my god! Yo. <laughs> I, all I said was good oh, luck. Right, case closed. This, this, all, all I this, said was, this, this I thought we was going with Made in America first. Credits. I thought we was going with Made in America first. All I said was good luck. We can get back into that. Nah, case, case closed. Close. Yo, you heard the Common album? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, don't rush us through. That's our <laughs> primary B topic. <laughs> there, when there ain't much to talk about, so don't speed through it. Rory was in Made in America. Made, yes. Give us, give us some type of, some type uh, of exclusive intel. It's just gonna be dick eating. React. Uh, Cardi B. It's I not can't, reacting if you were there, but tell us. Uh, <laughs> Cardi B. I can't say enough good things about because I was thinking back to when we had her on the podcast. And how timid she was, and how she kept looking over at her mans to like say, see if she could say anything. She's having trouble getting sentences out. Then I just watched her live, like articulate her words better than any male rapper or female rapper I've heard in a really long time while she was performing. Dancing choreography. I see mad people lip singing at, at fucking Made in America anytime they tried to dance. Mm. Cardi was rapping, breath control. I was like, this is nuts. You worked really hard for this. Mm. <laughs> that was my I, biggest I take. She performs well. I was blown away by Cardi B's performance. Yeah. How long was her set? 45, probably. Almost an hour. That's pretty good. All I right. don't think so. I still, don't, I still haven't Damn. seen Cardi perform. Yeah. Like. That's a set set. Yeah. And she was moving. Like, it wasn't just a stage. She had shit up here. She was running down half the state. Like, she was, shit. she was, like, damn near on the ground twerking with the mic here, rapping every single word. I was blown away. I love when they twerk on the Are y'all ready to just come on in and talk about how much stronger and better women are than men? <laughs> That's a known fact. They can do the childbirth thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. They make fucking kids. Yeah. yeah. They push a whole human being <laughs> out of their 
vagina. One well, day, I've taken some, all I've of taken us some shits in my life together. where I was like, never again. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, for real. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till you niggas have kids. Uh, Why? Because I would like to be there for y'all like Rory was there during my second child. Bro. I'd like to be there while some of y'all experience this. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Me yeah, too. I, I want to see you when the baby head gets stuck in between the pussy and you got a leg lifted up and blood is on your eyebrow and the doctor's <laughs> screaming at you. <laughs> like, yeah. Yo, you wildin'. Why you, yo, why? Yo. I don't think you can be in yo, that room. What is it? <laughs> be like, yo, you wildin' in here. <laughs> yo. Well, you got all that happening. That's with crazy, this blood. <laughs> hey, yo, keep that shit down. <laughs> I love the way y'all think. I just, I'm like, telling you. That's not how I'm going to react. I just can't wait to see how any of y'all react. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Cardi, Cardi to me that's was impressive. Stand out. That's impressive. Before you move on, that is impressive that Cardi B has an hour set in the tuck. Because that means, like, when you got an hour set in the tuck, this ain't just your joints. <laughs> no. Well, she got like, an album and mad features and singles now, so she can do an hour. Easy. Yeah, I, and it, it reminded me how much yeah, like, her no. features ring off. Last year, whatever like, she, she did. Was, she was running through just verses on her feature shit, like, quick. Yeah. And them shits she was like. She has a lot of those features. <laughs> just, yeah, she's got great features. Them yeah. shits just kept going. All right, what, what else What else happened? Uh, Shout out to Cardi. Pink Sweats was really, really good. That was my first time seeing him perform. Okay. Uh, Pink Sweats would be doing a lot better if the hipster movement were more prominent today, like it was in, like, 2016. Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, I also didn't know how talented he was at like musicianship. He kicked his drummer off <laughs> and got fucking busy hmm. on the drums. Yes, Pink Sweats. And then I went to his Instagram, and I guess this is like a thing because I was blown away right away, and people were DMing me back when I posted it. It was like, "Oh, he does that every show." Hmm. I was like, well, "Where have I been?" Hmm. No, he was on his his Yo, print. I'm telling shit. you, I, w- I would have never made it in music today. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why you say that? Because you you have to do too much today. I don't no, know. There's a lot of no, people who also do, do nothing. Don't. Yeah. I don't think those people are long uh here for the long haul. The people that don't do too much. Yeah, maybe so. And he's wearing pink sweats. <laughs> um on brand. No, what I'm saying is like when Alicia Keys Alicia Keys was playing the piano and singing all great when she got dropped from what was that? J Records or she got no, she got dropped from somewhere else and then J Records picked her up and then that was the big anomaly. Because, holy shit, wow, you're playing the piano mm. and you're singing. Right. Mm-hmm. Today, it's not such an anomaly. Like, you have to kind of be a two and three trick pony yeah. today, in my opinion, to be a, a mainstay. Like, homeboy stopping his set and playing the drums, pink sweats, fucking her doing all the shit that fucking she does. Even with what Rory just said about Cardi, even if you're not singing or playing an instrument, but you worked yourself into... The, the performance aspect of your career. But do you ever stop and that. like paint the picture of like you stopping mid set and then stating the culture? Or, or having a sig like mid verse? <laughs> I don't think Parks and I have ever engaged in like a real conversation <laughs> on the podcast because <laughs> he just takes every opportunity to just. <laughs> just to... Or, 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 um, or what no, else but to, to that <laughs> point, I think I also think that's why Tyler has to put on his You're album cover. Goof. You actually did that a lot in your shows. It was entertaining. Your shows were good because of that. You would stop and Maybe talk to the speech. crowd. A you lot. was kind of ranting before Kanye was ranting on stage. I got to give you that credit. You're doing like uh, I don't want credit for rants. <laughs> <laughs> He was that's definitely like, the king of the ranch. That's such a cheap trick. You're like storytellers yeah. every show. Well, I had to tell a story because typically the venue never wanted us to be there and didn't think we would sell out. <laughs> <laughs> so once the sellout happened, it's like, oh, all right. <laughs> everyone take notice. <laughs> no, I, I went to some. I went to some early button shows, and you would do all of me, and I used. To, I'd be like, oh, he's probably gonna do like the first, you know, forty bars maybe, <laughs> like. Eight minutes went by. Like, he's really doing this whole thing. Yeah. Holy shit. And the crowd knew every word. <laughs> that, that is true. Yeah. That breath control. I mean, you weren't twerking, but we didn't want to see that. <laughs> Smoking a cig and twerking is kind of the same thing. <laughs> Rory, can you tell us what else happened in Made in America, please? Um, Lizzo you. was great. Before Maul gives us uh, twerking cigarette breakdown. <laughs> uh, I think we had had the best four on our stage. It went us, Meg, the baby, Tarawak. I thought we had the highlight of the back to backs of Made in America. Who was like the headliner headliner of the whole uh, thing? Travis and Cardi. Okay. 
Cardi uh, Saturday. I'm, I'm gonna go with them. <laughs> no, no, I meant the back to back shit. Mm. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> hey, it was us, Tierra. <laughs> hey, that's cool, bro. Let me go see what Travis <laughs> talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here and see what Travis talking hey, about. <laughs> hey, I'll see Chris Dow's footage later. <laughs> I don't know, man. We did swag surf. <laughs> no, no, buddy. It hey, really went off. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'm, I don't I'm, know. So, I'm sure it did. I'm in sickle mode over here. <laughs> well, no, with Travis nah, and nah, them. But we, but we played sickle mode. <laughs> I don't know. Have fun. Oh, okay. Nah, that's nah, do it. Yeah, have fun. Yeah, this nigga jump, ju- jumping around on people's heads. <laughs> uh, but that was my first time seeing Travis, too. I was, like, looking forward to that. How'd it go? I, he's great. Yeah. That's all I got. I don't think, I, I don't think come, anything you know, I say... How come when Rory be at places, we don't get things outside of he's great? Well, I told you I was getting dicky. Yeah, I, liked, I, liked all someone, the, I liked all the performances. No, no, that, that shit on... No, 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 you don't have to just uh, 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 well, praise Joe, someone Joe, or shit on him. But when yeah, I go to see live give music... Me something, what, give me something that, that we can take away. Like, I'll tell you what. As from, somebody from, that wasn't there. From a, uh, I've never been to a Travis show. I would like to go. But I would be worried about it sounding not anything like the album... Oh, no, nah, he has the auto-tune mic. Oh, okay. That sounds just like that one. Oh, okay. Um, but no, t- the Cardi thing was, was my, my deep dive. That was the biggest thing I, I took from it. Uh, it was less white kids throwing up by 2 p.m. and bodies just littered on the concrete and throw up. Oh, so it wasn't Budweiser sponsored anymore? No. no. <laughs> yeah, I was mad. I, I usually That's usually my uh, one Budweiser of the year mm. day. Mm. I love that little girl. She's dope. Yeah, she killed. She just scored a number one number song. One. Yeah. Num- number one. Number one. Little round of applause. How about Truth one? hurts. Yeah. Oh, no, another one. Great. Uzi. Oh, he was great? Uzi was really good. I can see that. Yeah, Joe. Everything was great. I can't say anything wrong because all the performances I saw were really good. No, I just meant, is there anything that you learned about somebody that maybe people wouldn't know if they weren't there or, or never saw the show? Yeah, like, who's uh, sure? That Cardi, like, that Cardi B does not get the credit for the work that she has put in. Oh, that was his. She doesn't That's get fair. the credit for the work. I don't think she does. Rory, why I think get, I think she gets a Grammy didn't count. She <laughs> just won best rap album of the year. I'm joking. I'm joking. Why'd you get more started? I'm just saying she, she gets credit. <laughs> you know, Nikki. that's all I'm saying. She got invited okay, to the Super okay. Bowl. Like, right, let me put it this way: Nikki follows him on Instagram. <laughs> I know. I'm just I saying. Don't, I don't think credit. Maul gets hey, credit. you know what? I'm with Maul, man. Nikki wish me happy birthday. I'm gonna hear those Cardi shit you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Look how easy it is for you. Yeah, oh, man. so nasty. What you want, man? The queen. <laughs> <sighs> so, did you like the Meg and, and Nikki video? I didn't see it. You're not a bar. They bit your whole shit. They're by a pool. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> That's Joe's thing. You're yeah. not, pools. You're not yeah. telling me they went to a pool. They had a pool, bro. Come on, man. They didn't even credit you. Come on, Sound Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. Hey, hey, we need a podcast on. How many of you rappers is sitting by the mailbox waiting for your sound exchange? <laughs> That's mean. That's hating. You're mean. That's, That's hating. That's hating. <laughs> oh. Joe finally got a new source of income and now want to shit on waiting by the right. mailbox for some publishing. Right. No, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not wait on the mailbox for publishing. <laughs> wait on the mailbox <laughs> for sound exchange because it's going to be a while. <laughs> That is gonna be about twenty three months from the phone call. <laughs> Yo, what, what's the balance, y'all? Hey, yeah, we owe you about forty five thousand dollars in three years. Is on the way. <laughs> that is sound exchange. Appreciate you, sound, but when it come, woo, <laughs> <laughs> woo, that little unexpected nut. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you went to Turks on. <laughs> no, bro. sound on exchange. Sound exchange. <laughs> <laughs> on my sound exchange. Hell, my sound exchange could not afford Turks. <laughs> That shit was some bullshit. <laughs> like I, I, had, I had to wait for shit to like accrue. Yeah. <laughs> like Let build, build up. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah seven yeah. months. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell them don't even send it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just hold that shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, treat that shit like a 401k. Treating that shit like a susu. Let's see how the market is today. Yo, the went susu. Up. <laughs> you treat your sound exchange like susu. Yo, you know what's funny about susu? Not not really susu, but I had this thought like over the weekend. I want I also would like to hear from all of the dope boy niggas. Who purchased hair and nail salons for women? I never heard the success story from men mm-hmm. in that. Because mm-hmm. they're si- they silent partners. It's always the chick just, ah, oh, got a nail salon, yo, got a hair salon, we bop it, we rock it out. I never heard the nigga get his bread back. <laughs> like, I never heard the business build and nah, equity. And that, that's not how it goes. That's nah. just a loss for niggas. You know the indictment come down, he get locked up. That she's, is it. Yeah, but why? Still chicks rocking. don't say that. No, no, they chicks, can't. And that's part of his assets. Yeah, come on, Jamila. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't never that. 
It's just Jamila got the dope shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> All right, come on. Come on. Where, where are we going? Uh, well, I was about to say something important. What were you talking about just now? Off the Made in America. Lizzo was where you left off. I love Lizzo. Uh, that's all I had about oh, okay. Lizzo. I, Rory wanted us to talk about the Nikki and Meg uh, video. Oh, I, yeah, I have not good. seen it, but it dropped today. They recorded this video mad long ago. That's exactly what it should be. Ash faking. Yeah. Now, now hold up. Now, hold up. Hold up. Before you and Maul go any further, we have a new segment on this show. Ash shaking? It's about time. No, it's similar. Okay. Uh, it's Parks Recites the Hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, before you got here. Earlier, we were talking about what we would talk about. Rory brought up the Meg and Nikki video, and immediately, before Rory could even finish, Parks interjected with... It's a hot girl summer, and you know you got it lit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's trying to be funny now, but he was singing it early yeah. with like with like uh, vibrato. Yeah, it's a hot girl, some man, you know, yeah. Yeah, okay, come on, do your shit. That's it. No, I did it. <laughs> no, I, I sang did the it. hit. I sang the hit. I sang the hit. I sang the hit. Parks, that's your shit. Yeah, that's my shit. All right, Parks. No, I heard that song about five thousand times the in the drive sang. this weekend. <laughs> Rory, did you see? Did you see this video? I didn't see it. I did see it. And no, it's it's really what you think it should be, as it should be. Ass shaking. They're by a pool. Don't worry. It's a you, bunch of beautiful Nikki women. Nikki's going to wish you happy birthday. My <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, you see Rory? No, I was trying, I was trying to get my card. happy He's birthday. You know before? <laughs> don't fret. Don't fret. Don't, don't fret. wish you happy birthday. I'm going to text, text Nick right now. Yeah. Uh, yo, thanks. <laughs> yo, wish, wish Rory. What's, <laughs> your <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? What is your name? We sold you Just a little edited video <laughs> that someone did. That, that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, she was mad funny. That was really, really, really funny. Great. Uh I'm not sure if we're even the panel to break down this Nikki Meg video. No. But awesome. <laughs> yeah. Glad it's out. Did you see Drake and Turks? No. Oh. Different he, resorts. No, you have been you uh, the, the last podcast I told you guys he he left because there was a hurricane like a pussy. Oh, I Didn't thought you were going to cancel your trip after you got that news. No, I'm, okay. I'm still going. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> still there. I did see no, Charlotte. No, I was talking about Drake. Charlotte, Charlotte not, not, was in Turks though. I know you guys stayed in the did same you guys suite. Talk? Uh, did you did we you text. pull up? Oh, okay. You guys did pull up. We text and uh, we maybe spoke on the uh, customs line when we landed. When when he realized that neither one of us had global entry. <laughs> I'm getting global entry. <laughs> enough of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> it's gonna be enough of that. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah. That's a topic for later. But niggas ain't just gonna bust the hard left and on the empty <laughs> line. Yeah. <laughs> Low entry is the shit. The yeah. f- what I know, what I noticed landing back from Turks, forty minutes in, we ain't talking about a fucking thing yet. Yeah. But uh, what I noticed landing back from Turks, with all this uh, immigrant shit that Trump is on, like these niggas ain't worried about drugs at all. Hmm. No. No. Customs, no. Hmm. They're just people watching and counting, and that's it. Damn. Yeah, the drugs they're, they don't give a fuck about. No, they're no longer checking bags. <laughs> <laughs> That whole random, hey, you over here. No, none of that's happening. It's only people. Yeah, when I, when I Take came from back, that uh, what you will. When I came back from Toronto, not that that's always like the hardest custom shit, I thought- It used I, to be tough to get into Toronto. Getting right? into, yeah. Yeah, I'm saying coming back. Well, no, coming back yeah. is- Jesus. I've, I've been in line coming back for a long time. It's taken me a minute. Then when I came back this time, I thought I hadn't gone through customs yet. Like I was waiting to get there, mm-hmm. but I had been through it. <laughs> yeah. But no, you go through customs coming back from Toronto as soon as you get there to the airport. Like when you land in New York, you don't go through customs. I have before. Yeah, you do. This yes, you come yeah. from Canada? Yeah. I've had both ways before. Pulse. I don't remember that. You don't go through I've customs. How? You uh, go through customs when you get to the airport in Toronto. That's yeah, on the way back, you got to go through that long line and go to the thing and fill out the little paper and all that shit. I don't care. Anyways. I want to I hear you guys defend Jay-Z. <laughs> like, I'm gonna play the clip. Let's, let's get there 42 minutes in. Yeah, let's play the clip. You think about the idea of uh, growing up in a single parent house, which I grew up in, which we grew up in, and having an adverse feeling for authority, right? Your father's gone. So you're like, I hate my dad. Don't nobody tell me what to do. I'm the man in the house. And then you hit the street and you run into a police officer. And his first thing is put your hands up, freeze, shut up. And you're like, Excuse my language, everybody. You like fuck you, right? So that in, that interaction causes people to lose lives. Defend him, nigga. <laughs> 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 the, the fuck you, niggas, all quiet about. I thought you was gonna play more. Yeah, I, I, no, 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 that's it. 
I see. I see. You're deflecting to try to get us to talk about it, so you don't have to talk about it. I know what you're doing. Oh God! I know what you're doing. (laughs) Oh man. Uh, Well, I disagree with him. As far as what? Gasp. Uh, Did you tell him that when you were with him? I I didn't hear this until a lot of. Yo, all right, all right. I didn't hear you. All right, we got. We need a new line. We well, have ran. I didn't hear this yet to no, the ground. Well, and Roy, I didn't hear it. What's Roy album? Though. He didn't hear yet. Chance still. I have not heard Chance. <laughs> I haven't heard M's album still. But you have. I know you haven't. Uh, <laughs> I listened to it with you. <laughs> no, that was like three M-, M albums ago. No, I was trying to listen to that M album, and Roy was like, "Oh, cut this shit off." That's true. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> Parks has one that he keeps saying, I didn't hear it yet. I, I don't remember what it is. He's got one. Yeah. I'm oh, no. Sure. There was one recently. There's like, ah. Oh. Coming. Yeah, coming today. <laughs> you just listened to it today? I didn't listen to it yet. Okay. I haven't either. No. That's not my beef. <laughs> and I don't think Mo will listen to the common album no, in LA. That, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. In LA? In LA? I, don't think, I don't think Mo was in Orange County. Nah. Like, Yo. <laughs> Her city girls a lot. <laughs> Had they shit spinning all but, weekend. But that's not, more. That, that's not what my issue is with y'all. I don't have an issue that nobody here heard the common album. So y'all utilize your platform to say you haven't heard it yet. That's not what my beef is. What's the beef? <laughs> okay. My, What's beef? My beef is. That y'all are never gonna hear the common album. <laughs> why you? Be, why is that beef? That's, that's, that's not true, nigga. Y'all are never no, gonna listen true. to the common nah, album. I downloaded it. I, I, I like press common. play. I can't say that because I, I was I like see, and that's we can't get to the next level. Because no. <laughs> we listen to the we common album. No, because I'm the only one gonna come in and keep it a beam and say, "Hey, fam, that's I'm not, not true. I'm not listening to that shit." So then I'll get 500 mentions tomorrow. No, I'll say, listen to it. Oh, take take your backpack off. You're not real hip hop. No. Oh, I'm done listening to the podcast opinions. No, I, oh. I'll listen to it, but I haven't listened to it yet. I'll listen to it though because I like. You're comedy. not going nowhere. Where? You gonna listen to it? The no, crib, a, yeah, yeah crib. Oh, it. And that one, we gotta stop that crib scapegoat. What? I know what niggas <laughs> like to do in their crib. What? <laughs> they, what? Maul ain't listening to Commons album in his crib. I will. What you no, mean? You're not. I gotta hear it. I like right, Commons. We'll be back here in three days. Yeah, so, and, 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 <laughs> yeah I'll listen so to you, it. So in three days, you got a Common breakdown. I got you. You got, or, got you. or all of you. I will. I will listen to the Common I, album before. I got you. All right. Well, Saturday put, well, put me and on we'll record. Hey, all you niggas with ears. I ain't listening to that shit. <laughs> why? You don't fuck with Common? I love Common. So why you ain't listening to him? Because he looks like I'm 40. What that mean? He's, he's, he's older than you. <laughs> Give a fuck. I'm not listening to Common at 40. Why? Because I don't... That would be the time exactly, to yeah, to It's like young man music. Mm-hmm. That's your demo now. No, I need it. Con- and y'all look alike. What you talking about? Tavon. <laughs> you did. I can, when I can hear the laugh <laughs> from like 200 feet away. <laughs> with headphones on? <laughs> yeah, word. Go, don't do that, Tavon. I don't know. I'm just not. That's not where my life is right now. Well, he's talking to I'm you. I'm not waking up in the crib and cutting on that comment. I'm not. I'm not going to the club. I'm not going outside. I'm not getting in the my car. Comment's not making club music. Uh, he ain't making getting chauffeured music. <laughs> oh, <laughs> chauffeured. See, wow. look, niggas be like, wow. Niggas act yeah. different. You know what I'm saying? Look, Joe, Joe couldn't wait to live like a rapper. Look, yeah. look, look he couldn't wait. He couldn't yeah. wait to live like so a rapper. So never put that on in the car. Yeah. Is that- <laughs> He couldn't wait. <laughs> well, I'm not well, listening to Common on. while getting chauffeured. <laughs> Let's look. The features is definitely Joe's bag. Daniel Caesar, Swiss Beats, BJ Chicago Kid, Joe Jill Scott. To like this Joe shit. Listening to I'm not listening Leon to Bridges. None of that shit. <laughs> you hate Yo, him. no, niggas need to get honest for a chase. And I'm, I'm not, that ain't saying it's, it's bad because I haven't heard it. See, why you can't say nothing? Because no, you hate I'm going to listen to it. I don't know why you think I wouldn't. I'll listen to it. There's some good features on there. Daniel Caesar, Swiss, Kaylee, BJ, like this. Yeah, I will listen to that. I'm no, not saying I would bump it in rotation, but I'll listen to it if it's good. I will. Music. Yeah, I it has su- to be. A, I uh, support uh, Common and want Common to do well. I'm not listening to it. That's, that's just. A, <laughs> but why? and that's not enough. <laughs> I just want to know why. Because I know me. I know my life. I know. I know what my next two weeks looks like. But you in there bumping? And with the music that came out, like. Nah. What came out? I don't even think nothing really dope came oh, out. This oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Glad you asked. Hold up, buddy. Hold up. What came out? And this is my problem with these secret albums. I cannot believe that y'all will not come in here and shit on common with come me. Come on. They have Dwelle's interlude. Yeah, come on, man. I hate y'all, man. I hate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a list of people that we we could shit on collectively? Like You? Ever? Outside of me, I'm the only one on the list. 
Who else you want to shit on? I got you. Rich next, white people. Next person you name you want to shit on, I'm shitting on them with you. Just name somebody. Hove. Biggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see y'all. Are, I see. I see. I, I see y'all bought the jokes today. Hip hop. All right, back back to Hove. I, I didn't believe that Rory would come in here and say that. Uh. Uh. Okay. Agree and disagree. Let me cop my plea. There we go. Come on, Rory. Mm-hmm. Cop my plea. Um, I, I agree with, with the, the you, sentence that kids that grow up in a single parent home do have a chip on their shoulder and treat authority a bit differently because of the environment they grow up in. Protect your deals. I agree there. <laughs> but I just think it's minuscule to the point that police target black kids rather than how they react to being targeted. I Wait. agree with Rory. You think it's minuscule that police target black kids? No, no, no. Kids? I think no, it's, no, no, no. No, 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 no. It's minuscule the point that Hove was making about uh, uh, black kids from single parent households, and as it relates to uh, police brutality and police murdering black. I, kids. I think even in his sentence of saying police running up and saying stop freeze, and them saying yo fuck you, I think the period at the end of the sentence isn't the problem. It's it's them coming up and saying stop freeze when they're not doing shit. Mm-hmm. Do you guys think the hoes out of touch? No. No. I think I don't. Th- I think that Hove is I, and not. Also, this is a small clip. I didn't. I need to see the full. He could have went on uh, to clear himself up on this. I don't need. That's to see what shit. I'm. That's like I don't, I don't need like a, a, a 15 clips. second clip. Not Knock telling me off. shit. Knock yeah. it. It's told. It's told me enough. There's too many 15 second clips that are not telling us anything. Do you think it would be no? A you can bad take. Thing you if can Hove take a bunch of touch? different clips and still be out of context. Do y'all not think it, like it's okay to be out of touch? I if think you make, if you have a billion dollars, very far. From being out of touch. Well, how do we get down? I think touch? he pays attention to a lot of things. Uh, I mean, I think that 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 sen- sentence sentiment in that little interview clip implies that maybe you have moved on to wealth. No, I'm everything that he's done I from the Kali Broda shit to Meek to I, I think that's all very much in touch in what's going on in that. Community. I agree, but that doesn't mean that you can't be out of touch about other things. Just because you're making the right moves. Injustices, I, I think, to some degree fall, when it comes to these specific type of injustices, fall under the same umbrella. And I can't see him focusing on specifically what's happening in Rikers Island, specifically what's happening with all the th- things Meek faced as far as being targeted and not with his parole situation, and then be out of touch with but do you- kids being killed. He's rapped about specifically about... Absolutely. Black kids being targeted and killed for no reason well before it it was a really popular thing to talk about. I won't say out of touch. I understand where Parks was going with that angle. I won't won't say that Hove is out of touch uh, because I think he does a really good job of trying to be in touch. Like, he don't try to leave the people. Yeah. Um, But I don't think Hove is above or beyond a really bad rollout. Uh, yeah, I think we've yeah. seen. I think we've seen it before. Uh, he's, uh, he's he's seen it before. He's he's, he's admitted he's, to his title he rollout. He's admitted to yeah. He's admitted to. I also think that it's okay to framing of things. I think it's okay to not be necessarily um, good at expressing yourself if you're out I of touch. That, I think if you're too. out of touch, maybe you shouldn't maybe do interviews talking about these kinds of things. And again, I don't think he's out of touch. I think more to to what Joe is saying in rolling out exactly what you're trying to do with these social injustices like you may have a lot of points in really long conversation and then pick certain things that you have and speak about them in an interview and it comes across like you have not had that full conversation it comes it comes across nasty that's how it comes across to me and i'm only solely speaking for me again listen uh two months ago all uh all my numbers in my phone got wiped clean so hove if you want to hit me to discuss this we can we can discuss it uh but as it stands, I have zero idea what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been, this is new, I it's feel bad, like. It's a bad. This is new for him to go out and talk about it publicly in interviews and forums like this, as opposed to releasing statements or. Because he's the guy, he's, he's, yeah, he's the guy that typically doesn't have to do these interviews and correct. doesn't have to speak because that's not his place. But it seems like the NFL or whoever this business But this isn't is with, Jay. He's been doing this. He's been speaking about shit, this, this type of shit. Uh, oh, I, I, in, I, I, in an interview form, format? I don't know if that's true. No, whole, well, I don't think he's saying to, do, to that. that this specific topic. He definitely has been speaking about that. I think just going on a, a bunch of different, I want, I'm not going to say platforms because he's kind of he's putting them out. He's been speaking on, about it with <clears throat> us, us as in black people. He's been putting it in black music and he's been making 
pro-black moves that black people would appreciate and applaud. This mm -hmm. is the first time we're hearing this uh, alleged pro-black message next to white people. That's mm. not true. When else the did whole, I hear? The whole Khalif Browder uh, thing, he was, he was on panels with nothing but white people. Wasn't framed that way, wasn't positioned that way, the optic wasn't that at all. There's been white people next to Hove throughout his entire career, so don't, don't get me mm -hmm. wrong. What I'm saying, this is the first time where we've had to listen to him and watch him next to a white person that we were aware of, kind of knew his agenda a little bit and already had some feelings about. And they keep making, they keep putting him in this spot where he has to speak to us. But, but I think that's but part of them. But I think that's part of what he's doing is that now he's a, he's he's next to people that he's doing may not it, know. He's doing it bad. Well, I mean, he's that's doing that's, it bad. That's, he's doing a, he, as of today. Well, that's what I'm it. saying. Like, and I'm, I'm are you going? I'm going off of a clip that we just heard. I didn't hear the whole thing, but he's and I agree with the clip. I want to say that I do agree with the clip. That listen, he just described me. Like I have a problem with figures of authority. If a cop comes up to me, I'm not going to be just friendly. Mm. Uh, if anybody, a teacher, anybody with authority comes up to me, my entire life. Like, not just today with some understanding. Mm -hmm. As a kid. Mm -hmm. So I agree with that. I just agree with Rory. The fuck does that have to do with what we're talking about here? Hey, I got an attitude. You niggas are shooting us. Right. This ain't the time to talk about my attitude. <laughs> right. And where it comes from. Mm -hmm. This ain't the time to sell t-shirts. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are we selling a t-shirt about? And I understand, because selling t-shirts is a lucrative business and a great marketing tool. I have an issue with it being the first thing that we see or hear after all of this. That's it. I think the amazing businessman at Hove is, I think one day he'll say, eh, bad rollout. Yeah. I think he will admit to that one day. I'm also speaking to the fact that I, I like... I, th I think he's I like aware of the... Sorry, I'm sorry to cut you off, more. I Just before I want to get that. I think he's aware. You just cut Mo off. I think he's aware of that because I think Mo is going to another point. That's why I said. I think he is aware that this rollout, his perception has Do been... Do you? Mm -hmm. Well, why you got to think, nigga? You just wait him, ask him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I'm, what I'm saying is I think that he's in a position now where he's, again, he's doing the thing with the NFL. Listen, I can't he's help the poor there. if I'm one of them. I do understand it. Mm -hmm. I do get it. I'm I'm still not knocking him for the deal. No, I mean that's we we not even. That's talking. not where I'm, I'm at. I'm just saying I like the fact that he's having these conversations, like you said, sitting next to people who are who don't have any idea of what goes on in the inner city sure. with black men, with black women growing up in these households, like and even women growing up in single parent households has a strain on them mm -hmm. that affects them in their lives that you know they may not even be able to identify like women that don't have a father in the household or right. women who have a strained relationship with their mother and how they go out and they you know enter the world now and the attitude that they have and they don't even know why they have this attitude mm -hmm. so i mean i understand like i just like the fact that he's sitting next to these people and having this conversation because a lot of these people he's sitting next to they don't have no idea about that world pardon my mm. pardon my ignorance i don't even want to hear old speak to a room of people where he got to explain that he's about to curse to them it's just not the, it's not what i want to hear I don't want to hear Hove speak where you got to say, Part, pardon me, y'all. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> Fuck. What are we doing? That's me. Okay. That's fair. That's how you feel. I get it. Nor well, do well, I give even, a fuck that Meek and Rapsy. What is happening with these t-shirts? Uh, the headline says, Jay-Z's first move in NFL partnership is free concert with Meek Mill and Rhapsody. And Megan uh, Trainer. Jay-Z is attempting to inspire change with his new partnership with the NFL and his first move is to put on a free concert and sell merch. The NFL and Rock Nation have announced that in support of social justice platform Inspire Change, Meg Trainer, Meek Mill, Rhapsody uh, will be performing a free concert at the Grant Park in Chicago on Thursday, September 5th. Proceeds from the concert will be donated to the social justice organization. Uh, parts, uh, yeah, that's most of it. It'll be live streamed on NBC. NFL will be a partner. I think you get the point. This is uh, before the first game between the Bears and the Green Bay Packers. All right, well, you need some capital. I'm not angry at that. No, neither am I. You need capital to start uh, this type of shit. Again, I'm not angry at anything that Hove is attempting to do. Uh, the order in which it's being displayed, <laughs> it doesn't It doesn't give me... 
I also much don't think he's doing a great job in uh, explaining a lot of the stuff. I agree with that, and yeah. I don't. And I don't think yeah, yeah. he's the mm. best explainer of the shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I will say I don't think he's been because the other reality is he probably has one, if not a whole entire team of people that are all contributing to this that may have a little bit clearer understanding and maybe able to like write a press release that was a little bit more. Here's, here's what I think happened. Coherent. And- here's what I think happened. I think that this concert and this merch shit was already in the works. Prior to them putting out that first release of him sitting with Roger Goodell at the Rock Nation offices, Mm. I don't think anyone in that room anticipated that that would turn into a bunch of different clips and kind of a a outrage at Hove. So I don't think you then cancel a concert just because of the outrage shit. But it does look weird that the first thing you're doing without context, because no one was saying that all the proceeds went to this organization. They just said, "Yo, Hove selling merch and uh, doing shows." for injustice that right. of course sounds nuts but we're in a world where everyone has a platform and we can ignore the actual information and we can just tweet about it right and well, this, that, that becomes a fact when i say yo ho was just selling merch uh for injustice of course clip, i'm gonna say that sounds nuts but that's not the case this clip is also old it's from january i believe the one the new one that's oh, going around yeah. okay see i didn't so, know that either. see yeah add in more context yeah. not to say that it's any better or any worse but but it doesn't make it part of this rollout correct <laughs> Wait, that clip is from January? Yeah. And it's September? I would still yeah. like to see the full <laughs> clip, too. So I'm saying I can't, I, like, I, I just can't jump and react to shit oh, I don't from a 15-second clip. Like, if... I know, still stand by that's what from I said. January, right. it's like, yeah. what the fuck are we talking about? Right. And I'm only reacting because we have a podcast. <laughs> no, I, I get I it. No, I understand. I, I understand, but uh, again, it's, it's an old clip. It's a 15-second clip. Nah. A lot of things have changed since then. Like, well, then show me the change. <laughs> show me the change it's yeah, coming is it well sh- uh, show me the full clip because I'm not saying he didn't get to a point after he made that point <laughs> that's all I'm saying bro. I <laughs> just can't jump and react to 15 second clips and then come back on the next show I'm like oh apologize and you know like nah I'm not doing that alright well fine don't <laughs> <laughs> that's how you feeling this is how I was feeling an hour ago, nigga. <laughs> I, I know we had an hour talk, but we're going to let this rock. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> stop it. Just we stop never it do. right there. We never do. <laughs> or do we? <laughs> Yo, this Sir album, fam... Really good. Why is no. he saying these? Why is he saying that these things we shouldn't say? <laughs> Do you hear this? I sh- I gotta fall back. <laughs> I don't mean to mislead her. We never mean to mislead her, man. We don't. No. But it's still in the plan somehow. Somehow. <laughs> somehow it's part yeah. of it. Yeah. Right. So we have an exit strategy before an enter strategy, but that still doesn't mean we're. Trying to mislead you at all. Oh man, that's what makes it the worst. We knew she believed every word that we said, <laughs> which is the best when you got one of those. Oh yeah. <laughs> now I gotta go to the store. Yeah. Then then you then you start doing shit just see what you can get away with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't know. Then shit. you just try to get creative. Y'all no, no. I am out of town for the next month. <laughs> <laughs> now it's work. Y'all don't never sit back and think about all the dirtbag shit y'all like we have we've done in our lives. And I'm me. still paranoid to this day. Like just like one day, just sit back and think like, damn, like I really ain't shit sometimes. Mm-hmm. I do that often. Like I think about a lot of shit. I'm like, why, why, just why? Yeah, I got some shit. I'm gonna go to the grave with. Oh no, we all do. We all do. That doesn't inspire you to like try to be a better person like today. Absolutely, no. It has. It does. See, well, it because you in an interesting predicament. I thought about this on my birthday. Like, <sighs> nigga, you around my age. Why? So, why am I in an interesting? Why are you thinking about me on your birthday? Number no, one, <laughs> <laughs> you got it's, your toes in the no, sand. No, 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 no. Don't think about I me. I thought my nigga. about Maul on my birthday. Don't think about me. At thirty nine, I'm at, I'm in Turks and I'm like, I, I lit up a cigarette. I'm like, nah, I don't want to smoke at thirty nine. Mm-hmm. I do not want to smoke. I like 39 that. is I like that. it. Like, I like that. Come we, on, my nigga. We, we what encourage. type of fucking loser are you? I like encourage that. that so, so I had that, that conversation with myself, and 
every time I have it, like I get angry with myself, and I'm like, "Fam, you the oldest out of your fucking friends. Mm-hmm. Like these niggas can run around and play in thirty parks, thirty three. They can smoke. Mm-hmm. Like I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. And that always leads me to you." Because mm-hmm. you're right there. I'm 39. What are you, 37? I'll be 38, end of the month. I know. So, And you always like try to experiment with like your lifestyle. Like, oh, I'm not eating chicken this month. <laughs> um, yo, I'm, not, I'm not wearing socks later. <laughs> yo, wearing I'm wearing socks. all black Angles this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you always do something. Nah, no weed this week. Try shit. You got to try water. shit. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> gotta, I'm like, yo, I am shit. not letting more outlive me. Yeah, you got to try shit, Nah, man. fuck that shit. Change. I like change, man. I like change. So you you come to mind and it's like, yeah, nigga, you can't laugh. Neither. We got to live different. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I've been on that. I've I know. been on that, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, but tap your dude, though. And like, I did tap. I, I, nah, but I nah, tried getting you on the water wave nah, with me. I'm like, trying to live good alone. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, I tried getting you on the water wave. Water tap wave. me like, yo, try this chicken. Yeah, no, nah, but I, I gave up chicken. I'm trying to get you to stop doing See, that. Yo, you gotta, Fate, you, we got to live together. We're just going to sit. Yo, us living together now might be a little different. It go a little yeah, different now. Yeah, we got to see yeah. what's going on. Just to skip over the water wave. The water should not be a wave. It's essential to your life. It is a wave, though. I'm saying for the show, water shouldn't be trending. But what is good? What is trendy? I don't know trendy. what I was doing be. in my twenties. Yeah. I was Puff. going to Aqua the basket- is everywhere. I was going to the basketball court with the three liter Pepsi. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. See? Disgusting. In my Hot 20s. Pepsi outside nasty. sitting in the park. Uh, Yo, the 90s was nasty. Yeah, Phil, we used to wear basketball shorts under our jeans. In the yeah, yeah. Like, old niggas shit. talk a lot of shit about where the world is now, but I love it. <laughs> oh, Yo, yeah. we was fucked up in the nineties. Yeah, that's man. a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, we never we never give enough credit to how how much change we've actually made. I love it. Like, I we have a long it. way to go still, but it's like, but we look back, we've changed a lot. A lot of shit has changed. Yeah, there's still some shit that's fucked up. Mm. Absolutely, but well, yeah, because back then I was listening to Common Out. I was just telling somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling somebody the other day, if you was in Times Square in the nineties, good luck. Walking around Times Square in '96, mm. you could have got your issue. Now I wasn't walking around Times Square in '96. Now you, could... I be honest with you, I, that I shit prefer, is whatever. I prefer it be more dangerous. Now, now you can't even walk there. No, you can you can walk there very <laughs> safely now. Take too many pictures. People. It's the worst place in the world. In '96, soon as you got out of that think Greyhound bus station, you might have got your robbed. issue. <laughs> no, it used to be crazy. It was did packed I, then too. Did I come in and tell y'all how much fun I had watching uh, when the motorcycle went off in Times Square and everybody thought they were shooting and all the white tourists started oh, running? Yeah. Did I tell y'all how fun that was for me? <laughs> that was a <laughs> lot of fun for me. Uh, I'm not off this. <laughs> no, no. Y'all thought I was leaving this. I'm so mad that he left this saxophone in here for all of like seven seconds. <laughs> Why do you niggas hate saxophone so much in, in music? Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, everything just changed. <laughs> everything just changed when that fucking saxophone came. What the fuck? Hold up. That has a, another element of emotion. It does. Oh, yeah. Just a quick note. <laughs> music. Hey! Oh, they always say that. <laughs> Why do they always think they can give us what we need? Bitch, she just met me a week ago. <laughs> oh, she loved being next to me, nigga. She thought she had me. She thought she was my bitch. I fooled her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She thought me getting with her was in the recipe. <laughs> this nigga made a hook out of let it go. <laughs> Word. This nigga's an idiot, man. <laughs> Y'all don't hear this nigga sultry ass singing we could never be Damn. and let it go. We just said on the show Damn. last week when you say things in a certain way. It, it, Damn. Damn, this nigga saying this shit beautifully. Yeah. He getting this shit off. Hey. Hey, this ain't even what you want, mama. Oh. Oh, yes. Let a nigga harmonize to let it go. Let it go, goddamn it. Listen, I'm spending the next 20 minutes talking about this Sir album, so y'all might as well cut it off or fast forward. <laughs> Ooh, you heard the sex! Y'all heard the sex! 
Am I too excited about the sex? You're, you're very excited. Like, Parks is staring at me. But look, honestly, Parks. The, so the sex is beautiful. But you engineers, Parks, so now ain't time for your fucking jokes. One second sex. But look at the difference. I know I'm a musician, man, but this, listen to this. Listen. Who would do that and say, don't put the sax anymore? Hmm. Oh, it's not in the rest of the what song? What the fuck is he doing? No. Well, he's using it. He's just he's using man, it. Man, I don't give a fuck. For specific he's using moments. It as an <laughs> look. Look. And it doesn't come make on, it the come most on, come on, monotone come on. shit the whole way through. You know I would have had a 40-minute sack solo. <laughs> <laughs> sax is back. Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's using it as placed well. I don't like He's that. using it as ad lib. I, I think it's placed well. Yeah. Well, like ad libs are actually being used as sax, but that's, you know. I don't like that. Chicken Tal- of the egg. Talent. Yeah, chicken of the egg. Oh, and, but look, it hey, hey, and for you, and for you, uh... Ignorant people, right, who aren't classy enough, to who don't saxophones, who don't who don't have enough coof <laughs> to really honor the saxophone placement <laughs> on this album. Oh my god, yo, this is such a great song, right? He's dope because. <sighs> Shout out Zachary. For the last year, I've been trying to explain. I've been trying to explain to people that if you don't allow me to do the things I like to do to be the best me, <laughs> then I can't be the best me for you. But when you word it that way, niggas don't give a fuck. Mm-mm. And then he comes with this song that this whole song is about that. It's all in a delivery, Joe. Well, my delivery be bad. Yeah. I need to work on it. It's all in the delivery. But you know how many women have wanted to interrupt while they were talking? And if you would have did it like this. Sam. <laughs> Just playing this. Fam. 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 I want to ask everybody in here. I'm not in my mood. That's what I'm asking you. Yeah. Like, do you really want to do that if you're not in your bag? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Not at all. You don't want to do any of that shit. Mm-mm. And this- then, then you look like a dickhead. Oh, I'm nagging you now? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm just not in the mood. Yeah. Why, why, aren't, bitch- why aren't you in the mood? I'm not in my bag. Bitches- oh, is it my fault? Yeah, why did they personalize it? I'm just not in the I'm me. Not, I, me, I'm out of my bag. Yeah. And you know how ill my bag is. So if I'm not in it, <laughs> like, what does this have to do with you? Mm. It only has to do with you the fact that I can't be the best me because I'm not in my bag. You're not putting me in the best position to win. You're not putting the alley-oop by the rim. Mm. That's all? What? (laughs) Simple. (laughs) Ask a woman if she gets that line. It's the simplest thing in the world. Yo, know how I get in my bag? Let me breathe. (laughs) (laughs) Just give me some face. Yeah, that's it. W- women treat uh, every situation. What's that song we love on on Pablo that Swizz did? And Kanye says, "Yo, Swizz told me to let let the uh, drums breathe," and then he starts rapping. <laughs> <laughs> never let the drums he breathe. Just like, yo, Swizz was telling yo, let let the drums breathe. Like, nah. give it a second. They never listen and to my producer. Started. I always took that line as Kanye hates Swizz and <laughs> will we'll not listen to him in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck what Swizz talk about. <laughs> that's that's to me what women do in every aspect of life in any circumstance. They just chill for a second. Let me talk. <laughs> and right, this is what else I thought about during this Sir album, and I felt bad, but. I'll be the brave man to bring this conversation to the forefront. Did y'all read the Justin Bieber emotional soliloquy that he went on? I did not. I missed it. Damn. Isn't he married? Mm-hmm. He is. I had enough of Parks. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. Damn. I don't follow the Biebs. <laughs> Me neither, nigga. He was in church. He was at church singing. Uh, I think last weekend at a uh, Sunday service. No, 
no. definitely not a Sunday service. He That's was like a real with that. and it's tough crowd merch with no. Griselda. No. <laughs> I wasn't that Bringing Sunday Griselda service. to Sunday <laughs> service. <laughs> <laughs> might be a yeah. five. Nah, nah, I know you was up there tapping Benny like, yo, this is a Leah joint they flipped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can see the pastor saying, <laughs> yo, in case yo, you didn't know, this, this is, is, I really need somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing a gospel version yeah. of this. The fucking pastor saying, won't he do it in West Side? Boom, 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 boom. Like, <laughs> No, you could just There's say yes. There's no pastor at <laughs> Sunday service, man. Well, no, it's just Kanye waving his head around like Ray Charles. With glasses on, too, which makes it even funnier. Yeah. Catching a vibe. You know, you gotta catch the vibes. Oh, this is a lot of emotions that Justin is going through. Hey, oh. Scream, man, I'm not reading none of this Justin <laughs> Bieber shit. I only brought the Justin Bieber shit up because as Justin Bieber posted this emotional bullshit that I wouldn't read, it dawned on me that I still have love for the Biebs. <laughs> I think we all do. Anyone that listens to journals still has yeah, some what a, love what for Justin album? Bieber. What an album. What it's different you saying that and me saying it, Rory. That's very true. He said nigger, and it was taped. <laughs> well, he sang it. Man time. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and said we should hang them. <laughs> like, he went in. Jesus. Justin man, went in. On. His journal is what gets me off of that? Yeah, I, I don't say yeah, yeah, no, Justin Bieber said nigger, said we should hang niggers, all types of, he put harms on it and shit. Jesus. And somehow I found a way to forgive this little white nigger. That, something about that just right? doesn't say right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I forgave this little white nigga. I did. So here comes Sir. Wait, I want to see how he ties this so all together. Here, <laughs> oh no, real simple. This how. All right, so you thought of Ma on your birthday. You heard That's Why I Love You. Thought of Justin. Forgave him for his racism. <laughs> <laughs> what a weekend. <laughs> This is how, right here. Since you want to hear me connect the dots, no, here go it. the dots. Let's connect the dots. Is that Sabrina? Uh, yeah. Black people. I'm going to say it, man. I'm going to say it. I know a lot of y'all have been wanting to say it. Trust me, I feel your pain. Setting up for the pool party, I wanted to play belong to you. I couldn't play it, Sabrina. I think we have to walk back the Sabrina, the Sabrina Claudio cancellation. I do. Oh, I, here we I go. Do. Now that niggas I on do. my way. I do. I do. <laughs> here we go. I do. Sorry. Hey, on my way. I can't even really remember what we were canceling her for. Old tweets, I believe. Oh, oh. suck my dick. Old, uh, nah, old tweets. When I am off for of that one, buddy. If I'm still on Justin Bieber with journals singing nigger, then why the fuck am I canceling Sabrina Claudio? More popped in my head again, pause. <laughs> Saying only black people want to cancel black people. And I don't even know that she's black. All I know is I was really disappointed that I couldn't play Belong to You ever again. Turn that shit up. But super this loud. shit right here. Hey, I know that y'all felt like we could cancel her because we have Janae, we have LMA, we have Jacque, we <laughs> like I get it. I'm not doing it. I'm walking it back. Hey, hey, what camera I'm at? I'm walking it back. Judge me, I'm gonna fuck. You niggas made pump it up jokes for 30 years. I don't care. Uh, talk bad about me. I am not canceling Sabrina Claudio if, here's a caveat, if she does this on one of her next songs. I'm not, I'm not back on the bandwagon on the feature tip. Sounds like you're back on the bandwagon. Yeah, it does. Uh, no, but she does. Just, she's I'm done this on her solo I'm shit since those tweets. I'm ready to rethink things. Mm. Like, I'm not sure why we were so hard on her. That cancel culture is so fucking stupid, man. Yeah, but she's doing this, man. I don't know. How old was she when she made those tweets? I don't, 17? I'm walking it back. 15? I'm walking it back. I'm going to cancel. She was 17 when her first project came out. <laughs> did we delete the shit that would cancel me? Yeah. Yes, right. we did. Of course. All right, so let's start. We're, we're right We're not back. canceled. Yeah. Right back. Right back. Like, that never happened. <laughs> um, 
Fam, uh, my problem with these surprise albums is this. I had zero clue that Sir was dropping. Sir would probably prefer it that way. I think so. Um, I had zero idea that Joel was dropping outside of him telling me he was dropping. I followed him, so I saw it. I only he saw Sir. six singles and videos. and Yeah. Yeah. He, he made it pretty aware. And I guess that's where we go with this conversation that, that uh, is repetitive on this podcast when we talk about artists needing to release singles, right? Mm-hmm. But we always have that conversation in conjunction with maybe artists who maybe don't need them. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Like, Ross could drop whenever the fuck he wants if it mm-hmm. wasn't a label business thing attached. Like, some of these people could drop whenever they want. Joel needs some type of rollout, some type of something to alert uh, his audience. Yeah. I don't Sir, think he does, though, Joe. Yeah. He, does. he needs. He needs wrong, a little bit. Yeah. But, but here's, oh, okay, here's why. Here's why I don't think Joel needs. A, but you don't a think that about nobody, and you're wrong. We're in the music business. Nah, but in the just... music business, you say that about everybody. You still in the because, artsy stage? No, because Joe, it's, I'm talking about the way we consume music today. But I'm, there's no you need have to for let the us, single. You're right, but we have to know. Yeah, okay. You have social media. You have different outlets to say, "Yo, I got a project coming." And there we go. I'm glad you brought that conversation here because what about the artists whose social media platforms are not large? Well, if, well, if, let's not even say that. Your social media is your fans, and listen, actually, not even really your fans. Listen, right. Joe, I would say, I would say, twenty twenty percent of your following probably buys you. So out. then, I'm t- if so, your social so media isn't a, large, so I want then you no. probably in a position where it doesn't even matter if you put out a single or not. Let's just be honest. Maul, I want to get us to a place where we can talk about the people who are trying to stick to some type of artistic integrity and not do things to raise their social media following, even though their music career may be contingent on it. Like a Joel. Mm-hmm. Joel is not going to go out there and Takashi 6 9 himself to get Instagram followers and Twitter followers. And he shouldn't. No. But if he had more Instagram followers and more Twitter followers, this is the this is the conundrum that artists find themselves in. Hey, if I had more audience on my on the platforms that I can control, I would be all right. Mm-hmm. But I don't, so I have to depend and rely on a different vehicle. Mm-hmm. So I'm asking. I want. I want to. I want to one day hear what you propose to the people who are trying to stick to their artistic integrity guns and their roots and not sell out and not do things for clout and not do things for but, attention that still want an audience, a new audience, for their music. Uh, How does a new act or an old act without the large audience or the, the, or the uh, assets increase his audience? All right, Joe, this is, this is, this is simple. This is how I'm going to put it. Pusha T has 2 million followers on Instagram. Pusha right? T has uh, Steven Victor. I don't want to talk hold about Hold on, hold on, just listen. Pusha T has 2 million followers on Instagram. Name was everywhere in the last year musically. He don't count. Was, listen, just listen. Had all the buzz, everything. Put out a dope project. All of this. Fab has over 6 million followers on Fab Instagram. Fab doesn't count either. But listen, I'm just saying, we're talking about having the social media and his following. I'm just trying to tell you that it doesn't matter yeah, how many actually, followers you have. that's a good example. That's a good example. Stop right there. Let me stop you in that, in that Fab argument. Because that might actually be the perfect person to describe what I'm saying. Okay. Explain. Fab, some would say, does things to appeal to a new and young audience Mm -hmm. via social media. Mm -hmm. And if you've been watching Fab long enough, then you probably have seen that shift. You've seen him go from the crazy Twitter to no tweets. You've seen him go from no Snapchat to excessive Snapchat. Mm-hmm. You've seen, like, we've seen it. Why, how, why, why you attribute that happening is a whole different thing. But I think it's to increase audience. I think it's to appeal to some people who may not be familiar with Ghetto Fab. I think it's to, yeah, that that is his single. Okay, so this <laughs> this is the point I was trying to make. Fab does not need to put out a single. He can put. He can drop the link for summertime yeah, shootout but five you, right now. People are gonna download it. He can drop the. To you, he can drop the link to a soul tape right now. I feel like people the, are gonna download it. I feel it. like the artist you say that about only you and the artist and the artist fan base would agree. Because I agree with you. But that's all you would need to care about is your fan base. I don't think that these 
entertainers agree with that. Because listen, <laughs> this is how you this is how you will always I, grow your in fan entertainment, base. Entertainment, I think. See, wait, you I just contradict yourself. Wait, 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 wait. You can't say you only need to worry about your fan base, and then in the next sentence say this is how you grow your. No, fan but base. I'm a, no. You can't say that. I'm gonna tell you how. If I put out, if Fab puts out a soul tape right now, no single, no nothing, his fans are gonna eat it up. Everybody's gonna start posting it, captions, lines from the songs, all of this. Now people will start saying, "Yo, whose shit is that? That's Fab new shit." People and if, go, and go and get and if that. If I put a number just on that happening in one week, then my fuck the my numbers. Hi- we don't fuck. See, that's the but thing. Wait, wait, fuck time numbers. Out, but wait, time out, time out. And that's where I stop you in your argument because that's where my disagreement comes in. If Fab were to do things that route that you just said, I maybe have him because he's big enough. I think Fab is big enough to do maybe forty thousand with not a whisper of anything. I agree. I think he can get forty thousand soul tapes off without anybody saying a word about anything else. I agree. Do I think that that makes him happy? Do I think that that pleases the people he's in business with? No. The difference of that, the difference that that extra thirty or forty grand would make. When it comes out saying eighty k, I don't think that I don't think that's your core. To get to that eighty, you're gonna have to reach another fan base. Am, am I off on what I'm saying? I, but no, what I'm saying is you don't. It doesn't so matter how big or small get- your social media following is. Is all I'm saying. Like Pusha T has. Fab has three times the amount of a following be, on social media clear, as well, a we name, we name a bunch of Def Jam artists, and I do believe that Paul Rosenberg will be fired in the next year. I don't think that anybody at Def Jam knows what they're doing. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, not, a, not, that's a not whole not other one. topic. So, I mean, sad that we have to keep using Def Jam acts and these numbers, but the Def Jam acts are the niggas that probably need to figure this out, along with Wale. The niggas Agreed. that need to do this on their own. Agreed. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I don't think that... Well, I think that good music kind of runs in their own wave. I think Push is separate, but Fab, yes, I agree. But what I'm I'm just saying that your social media following to me well that's why it I wasn't matter. counting I'm I'm never counting push I think good does all the things on their own push I don't give a fuck if good did nothing push at Stephen Victor and that's all you need very smart guy I don't need nothing else if I have a manager who's well connected who has all the relationships who's well respected then I don't you don't need nothing else push also has a cult fan base yeah but cult that's gonna show up cult he, again yeah, he does again but the cult is different. From hitting 40K and hitting 80 and 90K. We not Very never true, true. beefing about people's core. Right. Fab has a core. Push has a core. Huh. Sean has a core. Yeah. Wale has a core. Jeezy has a core. Ross has a core. Like, niggas that put the work in have a core. The numbers that they be looking for, I don't think, are from the core. Mm. I could always count on my core fan base going out and buying between fifteen and twenty to twenty five thousand records week one uh-huh. for however many years. That wasn't our goal when we when we had the record when we had not. when we was trying to pick a single videos and we weren't trying to get to twenty five and thirty. We trying to get to forty and fifty, which meant we had to hit some other people. Mm-hmm. And that's my only argument when you start saying niggas don't have to drop a single. Then how do you hit some other people? Because Joe, it's, we consume music differently now. You don't. I don't. The single doesn't matter because it's like I'm not talking about single. I just want you to answer to without this cloud chasing bullshit. How do niggas reach a different audience? I'm telling you, you know man, how? I'm, 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 I'm listening. Put out, put out some, put out some bomb. Drop a bomb. Put out some fire because see we don't we don't we don't address that enough. That's a fact. A lot of niggas That's don't really make dope projects. They don't really That's make good fact. music. That's true. That's a fact. When you make good product, people will find it. That is true. That's a, that's a, and especially today because every the world is in our palm. But but a lot of people don't and still want to sell. There's a lot of good projects that you guys sell a lot of uh, units. But well, what I'll you say know what is happens Jamal's with that? Because people I, I, always go back to that project. Yeah. Because eventually that same artist will yeah. blow. By the time you and come, niggas are like damn, we missed this. By one. the time you yeah. come back to it, nigga, I could be dropped from my label, my production company. De- like, but by the time works you out come back end, to yo. it, but that's okay. Everything works out in the end. You know that. You will live a testament to that. But not everyone has that story. I, I, and I was just about to but say, wait, wait, was, wait, wait. Because on my birthday, I thought about that too. Damn it! Hold on. There's a lot of self reflection on my birthday. On my birthday, I did think about me and and the fortunate position that I wound up in. Right. Mm-hmm. Well. Put yourself in. Yeah. And that's where I go from there. When I go, when I hearken back to last decade or just any decade, I feel like the greats, and this is not to be arrogant, so take me out of this, but I'm in it. 
the greats will find a way to be great. I believe that. Which is why longevity is such a big thing I don't, to me in my world. I don't, yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. I think that the greats are focused on the long haul. They're focused on longevity, and you could throw a million things in their way, and they're just going to find a way to do it. That's why I don't really tolerate 50 Cent slander. That's why I don't really tolerate uh, Hove slander. It's why I don't really tolerate... Common slander. Uh, I'm not rolling not with that. Nas, because Nas was killed for a little part of his career, came back, and his. Back in his legacy, fucking top two, three rapper next to Joe. I don't think anybody in my thank you, Roy. I don't think I don't think anybody in my top ten or fifteen is there solely based on their musical contributions. Not solely. Let me see: Pac, Hove, Nas. Big and I'm not even. I would say big because he was uh he was taken away from us so soon. But shit, I wouldn't even put him there just because of his music contributions. Uh, who else is in my top ten that I think about? <laughs> Face, Scarface is eleven, twelve. X is in there. That's music. How did I get on this? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, me and Maul's argument. Me, yeah. and, me, me and Maul's argument. I don't know, man. I listen. I, I, I'm not. I don't envy these guys. I, I don't envy these guys that have to find some artists need singles and promotion and pre-roll. I, yeah, I agree. And I some don't, don't. They do. Some yeah, don't. and that's. I do agree with Maul. Like the old adage of "good music is good music" still does it. And I know that gets that gets it's convoluted now. So. It's tough for somebody to subscribe to that. Yeah. It's tough to subscribe to, hey, make the best project you can make and then let people talk about it. Mm-hmm. And I think I think Surges we caught, did that. I think we get caught up in our little worlds because we follow a certain amount of people. We follow people that have similar interests in us. Like my timeline was crazy about the Sir shit. Mm-hmm. I'm curious to see what he does because I don't live in the and whole that is world. The th- and, that's, right. and that's the thing. <laughs> like I live Sir especially ain't gonna do the- numbers. Sir ain't gonna do nothing crazy. We don't even have to wait for that. We could we could call that, but he but yeah. but but you don't know what he was hoping to do. He might he might he might exceed his what he his ex- expectations. Well, I also don't know what went into him creating this project. This is, this is I, what I, I'm don't, I don't know shit about. But shit. what we do know is the music is great. Is amazing, and that's what I'm saying. That's all that matters at the end of the day. When you make great product, people will find it. Well, they don't matters, have to subscribe to you. Well, what matters to me. But if well, everybody's like, "Yo, he got some shit I, over I there," I think I'm glad you brought that up. Wait, not to cut you off, Roy, but. I'm glad you said that because what matters to me is is not that part, but when artists know it. See, I feel like Sir, off his last project, Sir knew the algorithms wouldn't be in his favor. Mm-hmm. He knew that the placements wouldn't be the where he needed it. Like he knew he wouldn't get a bunch of radio play. Sir didn't do nothing different mm-hmm. <laughs> to alert us to, to 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 a worry in those areas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was just. This is it. He might not even tweet it, yo, this Friday. Mm-hmm. I didn't see a peep about it. I only knew about it because I follow a chick that went to the listening party and, and I said, oh, wow. And, sure you, has an and, album. and you know what's going to happen as a result of that, Joe? Let him announce a live show. Sold out. It's, it's a different era. Niggas is getting to the bag without all of this single, this old way of doing shit. Like, niggas is, they doing their own. I'm going to do a show. Three shows a week, I'm getting twenty five thousand a show. These niggas is getting to the bag. I think. I think. Fuck people, all this algorithm shit. Like I'm putting out a bomb ass project. I'm gonna announce a live show, and I'm gonna have eight thousand or, or ten thousand kids outside trying to get in. What you did when you heard this though? Mm-hmm. No, I had it rolled already. I had it rolled already. <laughs> I, had it rolled. I was halfway through already. <laughs> Talk about it, goddammit. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's my move. Sir, yo, sir, doing a lot of my moves on this album. <laughs> Rub my fingers through your baby hair. Get out my bag, nigga.
Oh my God! You ever taste diamonds? No, 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 no. <laughs> niggas never tasted diamonds. <laughs> no, that pussy tastes like diamonds. Niggas just be saying whatever. <laughs> no, I, I think artists in clicks like TDE have a bit of a luxury to just make music for sure. Like for sure. he can, like the way SZA just made control, right. like. Drew, the Drew Barrymore joint was a single, but you could tell it wasn't like they was pumping that like, oh, it's going to be the radio record. Right. People like Ari Lennox, like you in a great click, so you could just go and make great music. Yep. And you'll be a lot better off than... Fam, relax. Than, than say someone that doesn't have that surrounding cast that, all right, everything we know that comes from this click is probably going to be dope. Mm. So while I'm not taking away, I mean, the the album is phenomenal i'm not taking anything away from him putting in work for it i just think he has the luxury now that all right i'm with tde i can just sit back and make music because i have a click that i know will put this out in a very tasteful way where i can chill yeah and focus on music yeah got it i think ari had that luxury uh i think party had that luxury early too yeah i think people got that it. are just surrounded by really dope clicks can do so it makes it easy for sure and maybe not sense. easy. Now you now you know you have to deliver. Oh, it's yeah, actually more difficult in that sense. Like, no, nah, we're not putting wax it out. Look at our pedigree. Look at our, our track record. Right. But at least you could just focus on music. Right. The Sir album dropping uh lets me makes me think that scissors coming soon. I can see that. Okay. Yeah, I can see it too. I can see it giving us something for Thanksgiving. Yeah, you know. Scissor in November, I would like. Yeah, Scissor want us to eat some turkey with. Him. <laughs> listen, listen to our shit. I, yeah. I agree with that. Um, Joel's album. Is Joel's also album great. is really good. Yeah. yeah, it is. Joel's album is really good. It's probably I, his best album. His, I, think. I was about to say. I, yeah. I, I, I'm ready for that ledge. Better than Bodega uh, Chronicles? Yes. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I yes. liked uh, the Apollo joint, the Mona Lisa one. The production. Was a, I like Mona Lisa too. a lot. I like that album. This is better than. But now this one, this one feels more like a project as opposed to Mona Lisa. This one feels like he got he got into his song making. Bag. That's what I was yeah. trying to get at. It, it felt sound, more like a album album. These are better songs, better better concepts, uh, more cohesive. It better just, production. Everything is better about this Joel album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you did that. And trust me, there's been a few Joel projects that I want to come in here and champion, mm -hmm. but I don't feel like it put my guy in the right light, so I don't. Mm -hmm. This one, no. This one right here. <laughs> Shout out to Joel Ortiz, man. Salute to that, man. Gotta salute the lyricists when they do lyricist things. Mm -hmm. Gotta salute the lyricists when they pick the lyricist beats. <laughs> And Joel is one of the best reminiscers. Oh yeah, yeah. Joel reminisces. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super yeah. Much better hooks from Joel. Definitely. Can y'all listen to this beat at any point in life without saying, listen, listen. <laughs> that riff was definitely going through my yeah. <laughs> Pretty baby, I thought before baby. he did the hook, I thought he was going to have Shorty come in and do a hook. That would have been nice. That would have been nice. I don't want to hear from no rapper that never looked out the window pane, honestly. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. What did you see? Did you even deal with a staircase ever? Couldn't. Couldn't have. Couldn't have. I don't want to hear rap from you. Yeah, not at all. Uh, I want to salute your Joel, man. This is this is great. This is great. Shouts this album, Joel, this album man. is called Monday. It's out right this second. Uh, yes, and Joel still can't beat me one-on-one, -on -one, but that's another story. I want basketball? In basketball, I wonder yeah. if he fell off. He still can't beat me in a race either. <laughs> now I'm seeing uh, post post uh, foot broken though. 
Yeah, he um, might, he might he get might you. Got you. Got he got you. Got you. Nah, he might, he might win now. I'm seeing these rappers try to race now. I see like, it too a lot. <laughs> yo, yo. Wait, who else? Who else? Nobody want to give Joe his credit. <laughs> who started the race bag? <laughs> <laughs> You're a pioneer, bro. Well, I you am the first a, nigga I, to race, I, Joe. Hey, he's the first nigga to race. Well, y'all want to applaud me for all the shit I really was the first to do, so I will take racing. Yeah, you was the first one to <laughs> race. Okay. Thank, thank you. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. About that. You got I, that. I really hate you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I hate you niggas. Um, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Somebody want to tell me what's happening with Ariana Grande and... uh. Uh, she's suing Forever 21. Hey! Because uh, uh, stop, so, stop what you're doing. For, for using a lookalike in her... Uh, in their Ugh, I'm marketing ne- I'm campaign. I'm never shopping there again. It was just a Dominican girl. <laughs> Ariana Grande, I hate that nobody told you that you look like mad people. <laughs> <laughs> just throw, throw a long ponytail yeah, on Yeah, even when she first came out, I was like, oh, she looks like mad people. Oh, gen- generic face. <laughs> look at her. Come on. Yeah, come I will on. say the picture of the chick that she's talking about does not look like her, though. No. Enough for a lawsuit. <laughs> Yeah, plus, that's just how the girl looks. Yeah, I don't understand why that would be. That's yeah. another. <laughs> I, 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 how you sue someone for how funny, they look? Like how you yeah. how you suing someone? Yo, you look a, like a me. Chick look Pay like. me. <laughs> yeah, I, I stand with Forever Twenty One on this one. Yeah. yeah. Wait, which one of those big stores is closing down? Is it H and M or Forever Twenty One? Uh, this is a podcast full of guys. Uh, top, so top, top Shop closed. I was mad at that. Like, really? <laughs> mm-hmm. It's gone. Damn. One of them did close, but I don't remember which one. I doubt it might H- be Forever. I doubt H and M did. No, it's not H and M. Forever Twenty One. I would say probably. Close. Save, save on why? Why well, don't you look I, some of this up, fam? So no, she's just gonna closed. kick them while they down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> duh. <laughs> that's when. You, that's when you get your best shot off. I really try my best to stay up on girly news because this is an all guy <laughs> podcast. Yeah, <laughs> we just don't do it. No, and justice. who would talk about it better? And I come in here and bring it up. You're like, oh, one of them shit's closed. Oh, no. American, <laughs> American Apparel. <laughs> Stop. That's, that's been closed. I, I know. All of these stores are closing, so nobody can kind of American Apparel closing kind of contributed to the downfall of my game. <laughs> I kind of missed the, the long socks the chicks used to get from American Apparel. I like those. I did. I, did. I, I was did. I was into that. Why, yeah. why do we like chicks in long socks? No, next podcast, we're going to come in here and really... We like chicks in anything. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. But see, next podcast, maybe not you, Maul, but next podcast, me and Rory going to really come in here and get into our deep, darkest selves. <laughs> like, why? Cause, I, cause, why do we like those long socks with the stripes? It I says something about two, us. No, it's the two stripes too that the, just adds to it. It says yeah. something. If about they was just us. white, I would have been like, mm. Honestly, but then when you add the stripes, does it show the leg better? We really got to look inside ourselves. <laughs> me yeah, and, y'all are sick. Me and Rory have some commonalities that are dark. Yeah, I think sick. that's why the only time we get along <laughs> is during dark shit. Y'all are sick. No, we're gonna come here and talk about it though. Okay, I'm here for it. You would be here for it. Yes. <laughs> um, all right. So Rick Harry. Ross also uh, deep dived about uh, his seizures. So he was saving it for the book. Oh. Yeah. Did you read it? Did you uh, read I, the I memoir? Uh, I did not read I'm the entire get the book. book. I'm yeah, I'll get read the book. Did you glance at the memoir? But, uh, there was a, a, a hot topic going around that he uh, shit himself in bed while he was. Hot in, topics. Maybe that's what closed. It's hot pockets, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot, hot pocket commercial, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is he talking? But it rhymes. No, you're right. You right. Hot topics. <laughs> you're right. They killed that jingle for hot pockets. All right, well, <laughs> they killed so, that. so Ross shit himself in bed with the girl. I mean, who hasn't done that? <laughs> oh, Larry, you're nasty. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what a nasty! How little, is she nasty? What a though? nasty little harlot! <laughs> <laughs> I she love was nasty laying, harlots. She was laying next to the raw shit. Yeah, <laughs> damn, that's right. <laughs> she in that nigga <laughs> house. These chicks will do a lot for the bag. Oh yeah, I've seen how big his house is. Uh, she going chicks are later. Nah, they ain't going nowhere. Shit, I'll lay What the fuck is you talking about? I clean it up, nigga. I done clean my dog. No, no, no. no I done no, clean no. my dog shit for years. You think I ain't gonna pick this fucking nigga shit up? <laughs> Yeah, we are we, we a trash <laughs> fan. All right. To all the lazy you're journalists, trash right over here. To all the lazy journalists that love clickbait, you have the greatest headline of all time. <laughs> they right get now. it every week. They just won't listen the whole way through. Right. <laughs> they always get me when it's like, ah, fuck it. Uh, That's when he decided to go to the hospital, though. So I'm glad that he did. Well, he's had a lot of those, so I really hope he's taking care of, yeah. of that. I read of something life. that said uh, he said the uh, the seizures were being caused by his codeine usage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He said that it like three, three times in alcohol, yeah. 
There's a lot of shit. Living unhealthily. Which, which Wayne has had seizures because of lean as well. I'm glad that him and Meek and just certain rappers stopped doing shit that would kill him. Me too. Yeah. I am. Me too. I am. I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm, yeah, happy, I don't, that. I don't I'm happy that's a trend. I, don't, I just don't understand why niggas just love doing those, like, those type of drugs. It's a weird drug. What, yeah, lean? Yeah, that shit is just I, like, listen, what the fuck? What get, are you don't doing? Don't get me started on lean. Don't get me started. That shit is crazy. I cannot understand why people do lean. That shit I mean, is, you, that shit you is used insane. to do opiates once upon a time. I mean, I've done lean, and I right. just didn't. I don't get it. Yeah. Just, sm- just smoke your weed and, and sit down, man. Yeah, have a drink. <laughs> yeah, like, you ain't got to go to all this other shit. Smoke some weed and sit down. Yeah. Pour the whole bottle of promethazine out. Like, hey, when's this going to kick in? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you got more of this? Wait, how much was that? Wait, I don't feel what? <laughs> Wait. Mm-mm. Yep. Sorry. Ben, yeah. ben, ben there. I never had a good time with cough syrups of it's any sort. Never. Yeah. N- not a once. And I mean, no. I, don't, I don't mention it because I don't want to disrespect the niggas that had a blast on like that shit. But it was, it was a time in hip hop where, oh, well, whatever. Niggas don't have a blast only. Yeah, opiates. First are, of all, you don't have a blast. Not a niggas blast. I don't want to disrespect zombie, Houston. Maybe Houston looking... has better lean than what I no, was getting in it's Beverly not, it's, Hills. No, we, 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 as, we as black people just have the power to make anything cool. And sometimes we make the wrong things cool. That's it. You don't have a blast on lean. I've never had a blast on lean alone. You don't have a blast on that shit. I've never had a blast. You looking people. like a zombie. You sleeping. Yeah, you drooling on yourself. Nah, people, people on lean are not the blast people. Yeah, that shit is stupid. Like, like you're I, asleep again. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Nod well, off. That's like, why you, you put vodka stupid. in it to really, <laughs> to really help your case. <laughs> Black people make the wrong shit cool sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I think Parks is really funny sometimes <laughs> on this podcast. Thanks, Joe. Yo, lean people are not the people you run to for the fun. Not at all. <laughs> like, uh, hey, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> nigga, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Houston niggas don't kill me. I'm shutting up. That was Parks. <laughs> <laughs> don't do drugs, man. I don't know. Well, do the good drugs. Maybe Bun B has some ill lean. I don't know. The no. niggas I got lean from. It was nasty. This it might as well have been Pepto Bismol. Well, shit. I, nah, even all the the pioneers of lean have said chill with that shit. Yeah, we, we we were wrong. Yeah, yeah. I like I, I like when hip hop can acknowledge we was wrong about some shit. <laughs> yeah, we're, oh, you mean when we lose a few legends? Yeah, right. Yeah, well, that'll do it. Yeah, R.P. Pimp C and R.P. DJ Screw. One thousand percent. Hold up, man. Give me the gunshot. Man. And anybody else I may have forgotten. Yeah, DJ AM left. Uh, I don't know if that was That may uh, have been. That, that may have been. I'm not sure. Well, was, opiates all the same. I think that was pills. If it was pills. I don't know. Listen, we lost DJ. way too many legends over drugs and fucking stupid shit that we glorify. So uh, I don't condone any of it. Stay yeah, drug free. I, I, I did love. Uh, you don't need lean to have fun. You don't need perks to have fun. You don't need Xannies to have fun. In fact, they're very much not fun. As someone who's it's, done a lot of drugs, they're not very fun. There's nothing fun about that shit. You just melt into your couch. That's yeah. it. Well, Mike Tyson told us about some drugs that sounded fun. No, oh, no. There's, there's, there's some good ones out there. I, I haven't bumped into that frog thing. The toad. <laughs> <laughs> the Whatever toad. that toad thing was, yeah. sounded fun. Yeah, I'm going to work the courage up to try that yeah, one. Yeah, but we do not condone drug usage on the Joe Button Podcast. Nope. Here on the JBP. Not. Of course, the JBP. <laughs> Ugh. No, I, I, uh, it's disgusting. Yo, the y'all JBP. Hate, yo, y'all hate any type of brand. The JBP. JBP. No, no. The JBP. No. The JBP. All right, never mind. Forget it, man. <laughs> the JBP. All right, where, where are we going to from here? Oh shit! What's Netflix that? is no longer making things bingeable. Speaking oh. of binging, oh, like I told you guys eighteen months ago. Yeah, I said that would stop. All this. It should stop because it's not enjoyable. Well, I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's like a bad enjoyable. Like, it's kind of nice when they spread it out a little bit so you mm-hmm. can actually watch it over a period of time and not just watch it all in three days and yeah. be a loser. I think people get lost in shows and kind of turn them off when it. I also just way. forget the show when I watch it in a day. Yeah. Like, it's good during that time, but then, like, a day or two after, it's like, well, I don't I remember shit, what the fuck I've happened. I've said on this podcast of. of Sitting there creating shit for a whole year and then someone watches it in six hours on Word. a Sunday. <laughs> I'd be fucking pissed. Word. I spent a year of my life doing this, and yeah, we, it's over after six hours that you sat on a Sunday and then tweeted me, yo, when's the next one You didn't even out? notice the meticulous that, lighting, like <laughs> all the little shit that goes into a film? Y'all are naming exactly why I retired from music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which because doesn't make spent, sense you, now, but You okay. spent eight months of your life <laughs> coming up with the dopest concepts and schemes yeah. for them to be <laughs> like, ah, shit was cool. What no, else no, you got? Not even that. 
the fuck making the music. You have to live before that. You have to go through it's those true. horrible experiences and then relive them. Right. <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. I had enough of that shit. Fuck y'all. Um, yeah, I would really feel the way if I did that and then someone hit me a week later. Yo, where's volume two at? For yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, feed us, nigga. <laughs> I would look at them niggas like I looked at the phone when Rory texted me he couldn't pod today because he was moving. <laughs> That's not what I said. <laughs> That's how I read it. <laughs> That's how I came off. Yeah, word. Um, all right, what else is really important out there? Oh, Kevin Hart's accident. Yes, prayers for prayers, Kevin Hart. Prayers, prayers to Kevin yeah. Hart. That car looked a mess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That car looked a wreck. And I had to uh I had to uh I had to fix my brain from thinking that every time we hear about something horrible, that it's somebody setting up to release something. Uh, I had to remember that. Because that is what we think now. Yeah, that 100% is what I think. Yeah, yeah, but I come from the school of gravy shooting itself outside Hot 97, so. (laughs) (laughs) It's not what happened. Whoa, who shot gravy? And who was in the car with Terrence J? Two questions that I'm just dying to know the answer to, and we just won't get the answer. But I had to quickly remind myself, Kevin Hart is probably the lone black man in America that doesn't need extra promo for anything. Yeah, he's straight. Yeah, he is he's perfectly good. fine. That car looks nuts. So, Jesus, that car looks really bad. I'm so glad and so thankful and so grateful that Kevin Hart is all right and escaped with... Uh, I know that everybody back- in the car is... Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. What yeah, I didn't know them, though, but Kevin yeah. Hart... <laughs> call, call me pussy, but... Convertibles terrify me. <laughs> don't for touch real. Me. Just don't touch me. Just, just keep going. Go ahead, Rory. Just Rory. Right. Just keep going. Right. Should we skip over. No, no, I didn't hear. Keep, no, you yeah, just, just keep going. going. Okay. Keep well, yeah. Going. Convertible scared. But then we didn't know them. <laughs> it doesn't matter, Joe. It doesn't. matter I mean, we happy everybody's yeah. alive. Okay, so just but say Kevin that. Hart is the name. Yeah, no. After, right. oh, we know. All we right. know. So we're happy everyone's alive. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yes, yes, we're happy everyone's yes. alive. Thank God that Kevin escaped with uh. Only some back injuries, uh, well, and and the other, ones. uh, he yeah, alright, so yeah, I ain't gonna so. call it severe, but the, the other, the other, uh, the other occupants left, uh, injury free somehow. Well, so I don't know how in that car. Yeah, word. yeah, that that looks, that looks crazy. Did they did they say if it was a uh, failing of the brakes or or anything? Did it, did we say how the it o- happened? The only thing I saw was that no one tested positive for alcohol. That's the only thing I saw. Well, and where read. that is in uh, that's in uh, Malibu, Plymouth I think. Barracuda, I think from they were 1970. Cal- Calabasas, I think they were. In. Was it Calabasas? Uh, 1970. Oh, Muscle Car in the Hills of Malibu. Yeah, you're right. In Malibu. Malibu. They probably was. It's probably that 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 road is real windy. Probably late at, at night, speeding a little bit, and just hit. You just ran into the ditch. That's one of my worst nightmares. Uh, about L.A. specifically. Uh, in the nighttime, those mountains, those yeah, turns, it's, it's real no, windy. those, scary those, up those there. curves. Yeah. Yeah. I actually appreciate how slow people drive up in the hills. Even people that have lived there forever and know them all. Like mm-hmm. I'm like, y'all are better than us New Yorkers. I can see New Yorkers flying through that oh, shit. Yeah. All New Yorkers would die. Yeah. We, I, we, I, we I die. respect that LA like is cautious when they're in those areas. Yeah. You have to be. Because then things like this happen. Yeah. yeah, really glad that Kevin Hart, along with everybody else who was involved in this horrible mm-hmm. accident, is okay. This could have turned into a very horrific weekend. For so real? yeah, thank God that they are okay. Um. What else? What else? What else happened? What else? What else is happening? Oh, uh, we should send some more prayers to to the Bahamas. Yeah. 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 One hundred percent. Uh, shout out to everybody in the Bahamas affected by Dorian. Uh, everybody in the surrounding areas affected by Dorian it looks mm-hmm. really, really bad. Everybody with sharks flying by, uh, swimming by their window. <laughs> uh, everybody with twenty and thirty feet of water outside of their home. Everybody yeah. trapped and enslaved. Uh, it was a seven-year-old boy that lost his life. I, I can't imagine that. I can't even listen to Elements. Y'all know I come on here all the time and talk about how ho- horrified I am of the Elements when they decide to act a fool. Like we could, we, we, we could be, we could be worried about racism all we want down here, but when that rain and snow get mad, <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. it'll, it'll it'll learn you. We'll, we'll all piece it up rather quickly. Yeah. Um. So yeah, prayers to everybody affected by uh, Dorian. Uh, shut the fuck up to Trump. Just cause shut the fuck up. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even look to it see does, what he, it his does. response it's, to it was. It, he yeah. wanted to throw nukes at the hurricane to begin with, so let's start there and yeah. end there. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds nuts. Nuts. What sounds even he's more a nuts crazy is, old man. I do believe that he's going to win again. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. No. I hope not. He won't. I certainly hope not. He won't. It don't. That look, was a favor. It, it, he won the, he won the White House off of favors from yeah. 
invested in, in nah. older yeah. politicians years Unfortunately, ago. he won because there's a lot of people that think like him in this country. Yeah, and he spent a lot of money on other campaigns throughout the years helping people. Well, that's true. Well, and he is he's for the money. Mm-hmm. See, that's the that's 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 the part that gets overlooked with him. Yes, he's a bigot and a racist and all this other horrible shit, but he's for the money and America is full of bigots and niggas with money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but even though, very, even though even a lot of those people, president. I mean, no, I wouldn't say it, was yeah, it wasn't that wrong. And, and, I, and I don't think I think too much is in motion right now for him not to win. Like, there's too many things that that are unsaid and undone from his side of the world and who the people that he runs with and the people behind the scenes for him to get out of there. Too much. Too much. So you think he wins again? Right now, yes. Especially with what I see with the Democrats have, yes. Yeah. Yeah, no way. What candidate beats him? And that's where that's how that conversation goes in my. I'm just trying to think of all the candidates right now. That's how it goes. It's gonna be Bernie or Biden. There's probably the Andrew, Bernie, Kamala, Biden. I love I I love Cory Booker, but I just don't. I can see Bernie beating him this time around. I hope so. I don't see that was the I, consensus last time. Listen, when, I fuck with Bernie. I just don't when, uh, see he lost the to Hillary, when uh, Hillary lost. They was like, we fucked up. We should have had Bernie in there. They right. should. Listen, we're not a political podcast. <laughs> yeah. so let's find a way yeah, to we talk know about nothing. Illmatic. If, <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you tweet me and say I know nothing about politics, I will reply and say I agree. Word. So. Oh, yeah. That, that's the way to talk about Illmatic. Lonzo Ball was in front of... Uh, <laughs> Lonzo Ball had on a dad hat with a do-rag. <laughs> <laughs> Lonzo Ball can shut the fuck up. Why does he keep talking? He got to talk, man. Why does he? Nobody care about his game. <laughs> you think he's bad? Huh? You you don't like Lonzo Ball? No. Like his game? No, he's he's okay. He can play. I don't think he's as good I, as I think he'll be okay he was, over was. there. Every time he opens his mouth about hip hop, I just want him to shut the fuck up. And then I remember I think it's that a thing now because I, I think he started out really son. saying that shit. But now I think now I think he just no. Does I re- it to do no, it. I remember him really. He stood by this shit when I was on Everyday Struggle. You know, I saw I saw a <coughs> clip of him saying Future is on his greatest rappers of all time. And listen, I don't knock anybody's list. That's your list. Yeah, that's no, your I opinion. wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't be mad about have that. Have a blast. So so when somebody has on a dad hat with a do rag, you shouldn't listen to them. That's all I'm saying. It's a good point, Maul. Yeah, but he started shitting on Nas. He asked Big Boy, which is funny already. He asked Big Boy how many classics does Nas have. Then he answered it for him. He said one. And I would have fought that one, but cool. That's where your argument stood. And then he said. Everything Future dropped has been nothing but a hit. And I was like, well, that's not a classic. Yeah. I don't want to hear Lonzo Ball talk about music anymore. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's, that's all I got. I'm cool. And if you say something else about Nas, I might not watch a Pelican game. <laughs> like, relax. You're not, you're not going to watch a Pelican game anyway. They're not going to be no, on no, TV, no, no. so. Yeah, they won't have any national no, television. The Pelicans games. are going to be on TV because of Zion. That's true. They'll get some games. They're gonna yeah, get. Yeah. They'll get three games. And if hey, if he come out and don't jump as high as he did at Duke, them games gonna get pulled. Yeah. Because every video I've seen of that man jumping has not looked like the jump at Duke. That's not me being a hater. Because I still think he's gonna be cool. But where the fuck did the jumping ability go? Saving it. Have y'all seen it? I told you what would happen, Joe. He was doing that with dudes that are gonna be bank investors. And fucking fam, I'm watching fam. I'm watching him in his Nike commercial uh, just dunk alone, and it, yeah, it don't look. Shit. He looked like he missing the game. It looked different when you were at that next level. I he's alone. You. Yeah, but he's still at the next level now. <laughs> All that shit start to look different. And once you put I'm, that logo I'm, I'm on, it away, looks different. I'm staying away from a mark my word on Zion, but mark my word. If he don't take care of his body, I could see this going a different way. Mark my word, Zion Williamson will not be as good as you think he will be. Okay. But that don't say much because that put it on how, how good I think he'll be. And You thought I, he would be really good. You, if the he, Knicks if, wanted if, him bad. If he, he was one of them. I wanted him I really know. bad. And I told you. But not if he can't jump. Yeah, but Joe, the, jumping Man. is not everything in the NBA. I tried to tell you that. I, I told you I would take a nigga with that type of athleticism. Yeah, but it's, that's not everything. It's a bunch of athletes in the NBA that don't get off the bench. Trust me. They get all these little YouTube videos, jumping from the free throw line, 720s, three, 380s, all this other shit. Call a pick and roll and watch how he dribbled that shit off his knee and kicked that shit out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. 
Um, Parks, would you like to tell us about the first hip hop show ever that's premiering? <laughs> first hip hop show. Yeah, Cardi and Chance hey! and uh, T.I. show on Netflix. They build it as the first hip hop competition TV show. It's not. The first hip hop competition <laughs> TV show? It's not. I, it's can, not. I can name a few. Yeah. 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 Crooked Eye had one. For, that's an easy one. Yeah. Well, since we're speaking of Chance, I just want to say that Joe is no, no Chance the Rapper. You don't think so? Joe drove by a burning car <gasps> and didn't help and, and just filmed it instead of jumping into the flames. Come on, Joe. And helping the passenger that wasn't in the car. Oh, no, Joe will tell you I'm not Chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saving nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. If I drive help. by the car that's burning, like, shit. It's crazy. Damn, uh, let man. me get it on IG at least. Yeah. I did, I did peek inside to make sure. Uh, peek. It w- <laughs> through the flames <laughs> as you're driving by at 60 miles an hour on the yeah, I don't know <laughs> nah, don't do that part we slowed down we slowed down when we drove because by of the traffic car. not because yeah um, but it was nobody in the car and if there were somebody in the car I would have called the police I'll have you know when I was on my way to Cinderella's as a teenager in Elizabeth I was getting off the exit on the turnpike 13A I saw a car burning on fire on the side of the road I called the police Oh, such a good citizen I didn't feel like one when I did it cause it's like Think about the time y'all get here. <laughs> this nigga be dead. How as did hell. you? How, would you pull over and find a payphone? Mm, <laughs> you old mm, fuck. No, nah, <laughs> I, I just called the cops and said, "Yo, by thirteen a." What you mean? On my phone. How old were you? Oh, that wasn't that that long ago. I wasn't. Oh, I, right. I, I, I thought you no, saw no, it like when you was a kid. No, 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 no. no. I wasn't a teenager. <laughs> that and I feel like you might have been with me on the West Side High. Well, you would be on uh, not the West Side, uh, the Harlem River Drive, and we saw a nigga at like ten o'clock. Uh, Walking, looking like he's about to jump yes. over the side. That was you, right? Yes, yes. And I, I called that. the cops. Yeah, you snitched. See? <laughs> nah. I Fam, remember, um, you should do that. Dude. You should. Yeah. It's, it's 10, 11 o'clock at night in the FDR, pitch black. And, and yeah, no, no, is, no. He's, he's about he to get hit. nuts. It's okay to call the cops sometimes, guys. <laughs> yeah, save a life. Yeah. Yeah, I, see, I was um surprised to see the uh, George Washington Bridge when they put up all that netting. Remember how it used to be open? There wasn't no yeah. net around oh, yeah. They needed that. has been there for a little while. Though. They need that. I know, I was surprised when I saw that. I was like, damn, like people have been jumping off of this shit. I haven't fam, heard anybody. When I lived in Edgewater, what is that? Twenty the, the twenty sixteen. Mm-hmm. That one summer, at least four niggas jumped off the bridge. In, might, in, might be in, under, in succession. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like we watched. Mm-hmm. It was like oh, pardon me. It was like a bi weekly thing, like, oh shit, fam. Y'all y'all have to do something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think na- uh, that, that kid from Rutgers is the one that they really was the reason they put all that shit there. Oh, yeah. That kid that, that got bullied at Rutgers and then drove to GW and jumped off. Uh-huh. That was like a big thing. Cause I think people got arrested at Rutgers because of it. Oh, well. Mm. Yeah, they I need think, to do the I same thing to the, the Triborough because there's not one in the Triborough. At least there wasn't a couple of years ago and I walked to uh, well, it's hard to walk in the Governor's Wall. <laughs> now you can. That's the only way to get to uh, <laughs> Governor's Island for It's just harder. <laughs> yeah. And on the Triborough, at least there are normally police stationed like right, right there watching, watching all ongoing activity. On the bridge, it's like hit or on the, uh, George Washington. It's hit or miss if the cops are right, right there to drive out there and see what's going on. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Um, well, shout out to all our fans in Phoenix, loving this GW conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I commend anybody who is ready to kill themselves and decides on jumping off of a bridge. That's some brave shit. You commend you, you yeah, you got it. You re- you mean yeah. it? Like you don't want to be here. You, you got, pe- people are going to crowd around watching. You're going to look down at the height, and that water is going to hit like cement, and you don't care about any of it. Yeah, that's different. I'm saying that as somebody who has been suicidal, like that thought process. I'm not saying I commend you as in, yeah, mm-hmm. that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, don't do it. Don't I'm, jump, guys. Yeah, don't, 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 we do not condone killing yourself, committing suicide in any form. If you've ever tr- uh, struggled with uh, these thoughts or ment- mental health, like that, that's not that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, seek here. help. I'm just saying, yeah, you mean that. You mean that when you do that. I just don't understand suicide. Like I just never. That was something that I never understood. Only because that's because you're not sick. No, but I, even if you are, it's just like like my grandmother committed suicide. So I don't. I I just don't understand it because it's like I don't. No matter how hard life gets to me and how hard it's gotten for me, selfish. I've always thought about still selfish the 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 great times, you know what I'm saying? Like you could be having a fucked up week, but you think back to four months ago when you was having a fucking great time. It's like 
No, I wasn't. That's part of it. That's the thing with the sickness. There is no great times. I wasn't, having a great, time I wasn't having a great time four months ago. I wasn't having a great time six months ago. Anytime you hearken back, hearken again, you're not. You don't recall a great time. That's yeah. how yeah, people, people end up killing yeah, people. Yeah. Nothing about yeah, it yeah, is great. Focusing yeah. The sun is negative. shining and it's still not great. But it's I don't, all black. But 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 to people that I know who have been suicidal or who have thought about suicide, they've had great times. Suicide is a temporary it's perception. E- e- it's like a, a, a emotion in the moment. It's like a thought in a moment. Nah, and I don't it's know if like, that's fair because I think a lot of I people disagree. fight for a really long time. I'm yeah, not saying no. Yeah, I'm not saying they don't. I'm just saying a lot of people that I know who have had suicidal thoughts. I know that they've had times in their lives where things were great. Yeah, but those and aren't family the, and, and uh, fun well, and stop, things like that. Well, like, let me stop you because that's not the conversation we're having. We're not having a conversation about people who have had suicidal thoughts. If you ask me, I think that's probably 90% of people in the world if you've had a thought at some point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's perfectly normal. Right. I'm talking about the other people. <laughs> Uh, that have attempted or yes or yeah because I mean suicidal yeah. people are pessimists yeah. on steroids like they look at negative for almost anything yeah, depression and I don't even like that That I, I see where yeah. you're going with that but yeah. I don't like the way nobody that has not suffered through this shit talks about it like yeah. it's, it's not a depression's a real on thing steroids. Yeah, no. I'm I, just saying neg- I negatively get, I get it. I understand your, your view of it I'm not downplaying or, mm. or, or saying there's something wrong it's a sickness I, I mm. think they're, they view things very negatively and it could be negatively it could that could be the reality that's yeah. all you know it's true i totally agree man life is beautiful that's that, all that, that is, is true. that is true too um and, and we want the best mental health for all people listening um anybody that may have struggled with that and no, i don't need to give these disclaimers out you know you know how we give it up yeah talk um, to somebody talk to uh, where Take we at him. where we at where we at is that everything that's, that's uh eddie murphy's going back on tour and eddie murphy is hosting saturday night live yeah, I yeah, think, I think we, we, talk, talked we talked about, about that last week. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited December. about it. Yeah, me too. So that's all I got. I'm excited about it. Yeah. I'm more no, excited Eddie, for the Saturday night, Saturday night Live than I am the tour. The which tour? Than I am him going on tour. I would like, like to go yeah. see him on tour. I mean, the thing with I hope mm. I hope they let Eddie do what they did with Chappelle and let him write a lot of those. Like, tell your writers to chill. Eddie did this for a while, <laughs> and yeah. Eddie does characters better than almost anybody. Let yeah. him let him rock. Yeah. We, we will see. Because I know Lauren Michaels listens to this podcast weekly. So Are you Lauren, talking about specifically on the Saturday Night Live? Saturday Night Live. Oh, oh okay, no, okay. yeah. Only Saturday Night Live. Of yeah. course, it's fucking Tory. He's going to do his own shit. But right. let Eddie write that shit at Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Ma, uh, I want to I want to tell you that these uh, tough crowd sweatpants are probably my favorite sweatpants at the moment. Woo! Uh, you gave me this care, I knew you would like care them. package. Deep pockets. Uh, You're a deep pocket guy. Yeah, the, that's black excellence. Yeah. When your sweatpants has re, have really, really deep pockets, mm-hmm. it's black excellence. And you I like the ankles, thank you. tighten I, up the ankles. Oh my God. These are these are crazy. Yeah. I'm Good I'm shirt. actually uh happy I kept the same clothes on because my tough crowd bag was I just walked with it when I moved. Mm-hmm. I was about to put that exact same fit on for this podcast. <laughs> Man, this Good fit. No, no, I, I pulled the fit off in Philly too. Yeah, I loved fit. it. Good fit. Listen, next time I'm in Philly, I'll have this fit on. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever y'all make, whatever material that T-shirt is made out of is what I want all my T-shirts to be made That's out. That's Egyptian cotton. Don't worry about that. <laughs> all right, so listen, you guys can Egyptian cotton your way to the Hall of Fame. I'm gonna fuck out of here. I have a fantasy football draft to attend. Uh, you guys are gonna have to close this out as I am running late. Okay. You got to uh, play a sleeper for us? So yes, I'm going to play a sleeper. Well, who can I trust it to hit the closing properly? We're oh, not going to. We're going to kill fuck it. Up. We're going right. to body the closing. Don't you worry. Oh, fuck. Don't Jesus. you worry. All right. Got it. Got it. Uh, <laughs> just worry. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas. I'm joking, well. Charlemagne. This was another episode. <laughs> who, who got the poem? I don't know. Y'all don't want to hear my poem. No, I want to hear the poem. You want to hear my poem? Yeah. Crack soul is cracks past. <laughs> crack soul from the crack of my ass. <laughs> Packs past. <laughs> Rory. But moments last. That's not what I was about to say, Rory. No. Life is a series of moments and moments. No man, fuck that shit, man. Well, I don't know what the fuck you're <laughs> no, Fuck that poem. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. That, poem. that was gonna make great merch one day. It is. Uh, All right. Well, everyone, keep us in our prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Pray and pray or and not, pray on our like, downfall. Not really a good prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know how to pray. Of yeah. course. What y'all say when y'all eat y'all food? I don't. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. What's your prayer? Pass the hot sauce. 
Nah, yo, thanks. All right, Some people don't I, have these. I was trying to get into your prayer, <laughs> your prayer mode, but I see we don't we don't pray the same. Yeah. yeah. Right, well, give us a, how can you pray over vegan food? What do you mean? <laughs> like you're not really. Thank praying you, God, it. for the vegetables. Okay. Mm. I mean, he put them there. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, God, for the fake meat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, God, for, for making this buffalo cauliflower look like a wing. <laughs> Thank you, God, that this episode is over. Word. We'll see All y'all right. next week. See everyone on Saturday. Later. <laughs>